recording, yeah. Yeah, it's been recorded. Positive. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was recording. Flavor. Okay. Ay, coño. Está grabando. Diablo. Come on, Jimmy. Estoy bien. You got Flavor on four, right? Yo, yo, yo. Que lo que es. Todo el mundo está heavy. Do you remember the 25th night of yeah. no yeah. September? You gotta make sure they speak into the mic. The check, mic, check, yeah. check. Get into the beat. Get into the beat. Get into the beat. OJ12 DJ. Oh, yeah, DJ. DJ. Hey, DJ. Switch. Okay. Oh, oh no, switch? that's uh, I just that's bought one of the, this. That's one of the emulators? Yeah, it's an uh, emulator, retro emulator. I just yeah, bought this yeah. shit. It's 150. I waited two months for this shit, but it was worth it. I got every Not game. Every, shit. everything. Mm-hmm. What? The, what? Yeah. The hell's an emulator? You put the, la- the old Pokemon games, the old like Game Boy games. And every game. Nintendo games, you can put it Pac-Man, like Man, Mega Man, oh. Sonic, Mario, PSP, Xbox, GameCube, that though. Yeah, you just got to download the ROM, the ROM and... Okay, no fue man. Bye. Yeah. Damas y caballeros. Niños y niñas. ¿Qué es lo que tú dices? ¡Buscas! ¡Aplauso! ¿Cómo fue? Habla un poquito más duro que no te oigo. Aquí tenemos unos tigres. Más duro. ¿Y qué? ¿Es muchacho del diachi? Es que no te oigo por alguna razón. ¿Cómo que tú no me oyes? Ahí te estoy oyendo. ¿Cómo que estoy? ¿Dónde estoy perdido? Vamos a ver. Súbeme, súbeme. Ahora, ahora sí. Abriguamos. Ahí. Oye. Tenemos unos tigres, mira, que vienen con un flow. Mira. Ellos son dos, pero si, si tú supieras que con el flow que ellos tienen parece que son once. Uf. ¿Me entiendes? Uf. Y tienen un flavor. Uf. ¿Tú me entiendes? Uf. Que está de pinga. Uf. Pero tú estás diciendo que hay un sabor, heavy, un flavor. Heavy, que parece que son once tigres. Exacto. <risa> ya. Porque ya. con uno y uno. Once. Once. ¿Tú me entiendes? Guapiti. Entonces, los tigres rapean. Mm. Hacen club. Mm. Hay uno que es hasta DJ. Mm. Son gente clarita, gente linda, la gente linda, de mm. lado bonito, de allá. Mm. Aquí tenemos a Ilaven y a Mr. Flavor. What's up, guys? How you doing? What's good? What's good? What's good? Aplauso. No, these niggas is too cool, bro. Yeah, too cool. Yeah, too cool. <laughs> oh, man. I said, yo, how you guys doing? I like the energy. I like the energy. That shit fire. These niggas like, you know, man. Cool, and then you're joining us, man. You're in the cool vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yo, let me put the shade on. He's like, you know, man. You know. If I, look, the thing is, if I take them off, I'm going to be too light-skinned. I'm not trying to show that right now. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. here with it. We here with it. Let me get the hookah first. Where do we start? Where do we start? I'm going to start from here, Eleven. Eleven, right? This is my man Eleven right here, Mr. Flavor over there. Pulch, okay, pulch okay. Okay. Eleven, pregunta seria. Where you from, bro? Ethnicity, your your family. Yo soy colombiano. Yo, yo oh, que hubo parce. No es que con los rebo es mío. Dale pues. Que chimba. Yo nací en Bucaramanga, Santander. ¿En ah, dónde diablo? Bucaramanga. 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 <laughs> Mis padres son de... Mi papá es de Cali y mi mamá es de Medellín. Mm-hmm. Um, yo fui criado en, en Colombia y vine acá cuando tenía como siete años. Y he vivido en Nueva Jersey desde, desde que vine acá. Nigga desde said, que aterricé. Nigga said Nueva Jersey. Nueva, Nueva Jersey. Jersey. You know he went to his Colombia roots. <laughs> <laughs> and he said Nueva, Nueva Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> I haven't heard that shit in a long time. <laughs> Mm. Sí. So, tú viste en Colombia desde chiquito hasta los siete. So, you, he, he had like a. He might have some stories. Yeah, some Colombian Tengo una story. historia. Y yo también, cu- yo vine acá, yo viví un año y después me devolví. ¿Y cuándo volviste? Te deporta- un año te después. después. No te me te deportaron, no, no me te deportaron. No me deportaron. No, no me deportaron. Fue una decisión de mi mamá que quería volver y eso en verdad me ayudó mucho porque aprendí el inglés, fui a, lo, fui a Colombia. 
sabiendo inglés. Mm, Entonces okay. yo, yo estaba ya corriendo todo con dos, uh, con dos idiomas. Ni siquiera cuando, cuando estaba en clases de, de inglés, ellos ni siquiera me dejaban tomar los test. Solo me colocaban 100 y decían, Ay, espera que la clase se acabe y puede irte. Yeah, yeah, ¿Tú sabes lo bacano que es, señor? <risa> Chequeate, <risa> pero mira cómo son los asuntos. Te... Nosotros nos metimos el lío. Yo tenía ahí. un profesor, yo tenía un profesor en Santo Domingo, ¿no es verdad? Yeah, the same teacher too. So, yeah. checa yeah. lo que sucede, checa lo que sucede. Yo creo que esto, esto a veces tiene que ver con, con las personas, ¿no es verdad? Y cómo aceptan eh, críticas, ¿no es verdad? <coughs> y I'm going to take this to the artist. No, todos un poquito más en el tal... Eh, <risa> dime. <risa> <risa> eh, but... Yo, so I was telling this, this teacher, you know how you have I am, yeah. right? Yeah. But then you know that you could put the I apostrophe M. Yeah. I am. Oh, pero él me dijo a mí que no, que eso no, que eso no se podía hacer. And I'm like, y yo siendo un muchacho que sé que estoy correcto. Y cuando yo sé que estoy correcto, soy el quizás el, the most annoying person in the world. So I'm like, oh, really? No se puede, no se puede. So then I would be like, mi hermano, ¿usted está seguro que usted se graduó en inglés? And it wasn't like, oh no, like on a disrespectful way nah, that I said it. Yeah, yeah. it disrespectful. And you know what it is? It's because you have to be super proper in the art. You can't cut, you can't cut corners because like, they want you to know that. Pero que mi hermano, yeah. pero que la realidad del mundo <laughs> is that I could do that. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yo, you know, you know, my stepdad had to come and like talk to this nigga, be like, yo. And then my stepdad was like, bro, this nigga's American. Like, he knows what he's talking about. Like, yeah, and the your professor, no, que tiene que respetarme a mí. Yo soy profesor. They're not even about the. Yeah. the like my brother. At this point, yeah, it wasn't even about. about Respect. About respect. <laughs> but, nigga, but I'm trying to tell you that you teaching these niggas wrong, bro. <laughs> That's the same shit happened to me though. Same shit. Um, el el estaba diciendo algo en inglés and he pronounced it wrong. Oof. And I was nah. like, I because my reading was always trash, so I couldn't correct him if he was doing some bullshit. Nah. I was just like, bro, you pronounced that shit horribly, dog. Like you fucked up. It's <laughs> 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 <He's> like. <laughs> Tú estás como tu hermano. And I'm like, oh, no. no, 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 no. I just didn't know that that situation happened because when we're in the he used to go. Wait, but uh, is it, so, damn, that's crazy. It's crazy. See history pieces, it's crazy. He, he used to go to school in the afternoon at that time. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to go in the morning because oh. DR has two shifts to school. Right. So, because I was the younger one, I used to go I in the morning that. and the, he was in, in a higher grade, so he used to go in the afternoon. Yeah. So that shit happened the day before in the afternoon, and not they didn't talk about that shit at home. Like that shit was just like a passing. Yeah. And I had English the next day, and I told him, "Oh no, eso no se dice así, se dice asado." Hella nice, hella nice. <laughs> he took it. That nigga went crazy. I was like, "Yo, what the <laughs> fuck did I do?" Damn. Yeah, Same teacher strong. too. He was on his last yeah. straw. Yeah, he, he was, was over with. Nah, that you know what it is. He just needs classes. Honestly, it's something that he needs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He needed to go. But, to but listen to me. But not bringing it back, right? Like I feel like you know, as artists, right, and you know, as people who produce and make music, right, <coughs> you know, <laughs> how do you how do you guys manage those those comments, right? Unnecessary, not unnecessary comment, unwanted comments, right? Because as as un profesor de inglés, tú quieres que un chamaquito de, de 11, sí. 11, 12 años te venga a corregir a ti. Damn, yeah. and then you're over here. And you're a grown ass <laughs> man, right? Like, Plus, you went to uh, college I mean, and all that shit. There's, 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 you know, you never. You're never done learning, so if somebody got something to say, and I'm going to take in consideration. I'm not going to, like, just brush it off to the side and get tight. I'm going to feel a kind of way and get a little hot. My ass is probably going to get hot and shit. Damn. <laughs> but I'm not going to sit here and try to brush you off and get tight. You feel me? Like, I don't know. That's just me. That's funny, though. <laughs> that nigga got tight. Me, a mí, no me da. A mí no me importa el criticismo ni nada de eso. You know, you can tell me whatever you want, I'll take it. Lo que a mí me da rabia son las personas que no tienen nada que ver con la música o que no oh, tienen no, nada yeah, que yeah. ver con, con nada que me quieren decir algo. I'm like, yo, you don't even do this. You have no idea what's going on and you're trying to tell me something out of a field that you don't nah, understand. Relax, yeah, relax. Eso es lo que no me gusta. Pero si son artistas o, o DJs o otras personas que tienen algo que decir, uh, I don't really see it as an unwanted comment because sometimes I like hearing things. A veces las cosas echo in my head y la filtro si me funcionan sí si no para afuera no me importa pero I like I like when people talk yo creo que como un artista uno lo que quiere es que las personas hablen de uno mm -hmm. sí so, claro yeah. we're always looking to get yeah. um, some sort of comment or something like you're looking for that you know to get better or to something you're always looking for that kind of Tracks. feedback Tracks. 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 good or bad I don't know sure. right. it's only bad if my fault it's only Maybe bad if you have ego Oh if no! Yeah, 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 right. Like you because you got in your fields. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's. I think that's one of the things that artists, I think, show because I feel like most artists have an ego. 
yeah, feel like an artist, you have to have yeah, one. Yeah, you kind of have to. You have to have one. Artist, athlete, has all, everybody strong. has an ego. Right? Yeah. The question is, how do you manage your ego? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right? Like, that moment. Because the thing is, like, you could be tight about it, right? Because, But if you're well balanced enough to accept it, yeah. understand that it's bothering you, yeah. mm-hmm. but then be like, you know what? They might have a point here. They might have yeah. a point. You sure I'm getting it? Because I think I think that's the best thing that you could do, right? Yeah. You might yeah. not like the comment. But you absorb it and then decide, well, you know what? There's something here. I might not like it. Yeah. But they, they say they, something. In life, you don't have to like everything. You no, know, you just 100%. have to kind of just take it in with a grain of salt. Just keep it pushing. Well, Manito, well. oye, cuando yeah. tú, cuando tú tomas un shot de tequila, tú le pones un poquito de sal también. ¿Tú me entiendes? <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <laughs> Exacto. <laughs> y por <laughs> si acá hay un limoncito, por si no te gustó tampoco. Yeah, <laughs> ¿Tú me entiendes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, ¡Qué maldita analogía ni madura! ¡Negro! El, al, <laughs> el alcohólico de coro. <laughs> oye, um, ok, let's go That's back. Fine. Let's go back to Colombia. Vamos contigo ahora, pero vamos yeah. a Colombia. Vamos para Colombia. You went back to Colombia and you were nine at this point. When you're back, when sí, you're back. Sí, tenía nueve, diez años. Yo ok, tú sabes, en la República Dominicana nosotros hacíamos un tro de vaina. Nosotros robábamos mango, chinola, guayaba, de todo. Un tro de lo que era de chamaquito. Sí. ¿Qué eran las cosas que ustedes en Colombia, tú y tus amigos de chamaquito hacían en Colombia? You know, Colombia, the, sí, the, the streets, you know, nothing, cosas... nothing bad. Pero como travesuras. Sí, culicagados ahí. Yeah, 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 yeah. El grupo. Pues, aquí, aquí, le digo, aquí le digo algo. Yo, yo, mi vida en Colombia era muy, este, ¿cómo se dice? It was very, like, linear. Mm-hmm. Porque Your parents mi, were crazy. Mis, mis pa, mi papá era un jugador profesional de fútbol, de soccer. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, y, él, y, él, este, y él se mudó para los Estados Unidos y yo viví un largo tiempo con mi familia, que era mi mamá y mis tías, mi abuela y mi tío. Okay. Right? Y mis hermanos y mis primas. Right? Pero mi tía era una profesora. Mm. Right, he, he, and she teach in the same school that I went to. Oh my God! So my <laughs> life was very strict. There's good grades and or nothing. Like mm-hmm. I had to just so like my parents and my family really kept me away from all that trouble. I did have a lot of friends, but they did the their best to surround me and put me in a place where even when I had friends, we wouldn't be up to no good. Type shit, you feel mm, me? Okay. So it was when I came here, cuando empecé a hacer un montón de huevonadas and stuff like that. ¿Cuáles fueron las huevonadas que hacías? Huevonadas. Hable mijo. Primero con mijito. todo, el número uno es fumar marihuana. Yo creo que eso en Colombia ya es como usted está haciendo cocaína en frente de las personas. They don't like that shit. You really? Sh- you smoke weed in Colombia, they're going to be like, oh, stay away. Yeah. Really? You have to do it on the low. And I thought I thought it'd be on some other shit. Yeah, oh, no, no, oh, yeah. Escobar. No, and shit, no, you know what I mean? No, no. Nah, nah, I mean, the, the, probably because of that shit, Bro, they're they like, say, yo, yeah, what the fuck? They have trauma behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck these niggas. Muy estúpida que yo no sabía. Cuando yo me empecé a devolver a Colombia y era mayor, yo empecé a traer marihuana, right? I brought like an ounce. Are you crazy? And I didn't get it. I got away with it. No one found out. We smoked. Entonces yo fui a visitar a mi amigo Cristian. Why we're friends. Conocí a mi amigo Cristian y Cristian, él vive, él vive en, en Colombia. Y él me dice, marica, usted, usted trajo todo esto. Y yo, sí, he said, I, was, I could have faced life. Because there they don't fuck with that shit. Even, a, even like, even like a, a little ounce, you're going to jail for life. They're taking you away. Really? Pero yo no, yo no estaba en cuenta de eso. I just brought it on some fuck it. If I get in trouble, you're going to take it from me. Just like the, just like Jersey, but now nah, I was really like risking yeah, my shit. Bugging, I learned, well. I learned yeah, that's a little wild there. No, yeah, it's that's really a little wild. Wait, 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 Nah, that's I crazy. That's wild. That's wild. Running. Damn. So, right there, it's the story. This nigga just yeah. smuggled fucking drug traffic. He, 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 was, he was up in fucking he, Colombia. This he, he was about to become the other Pablo Escobar. But that, nah. Yeah, nigga, that nigga almost True story. did it. That's fire. Flavor. <laughs> yeah. Flavor. You're Dominican, right? Yeah, no, I'm mm. Dominican. That's all right, it. all right. Dominican men don't cheat. Were you born here or over Wait, there? What would you say? I said Dominican men don't cheat. Okay. Facts, yeah. 100%. Uh, you were born here or over there? Yeah, I was born I was born here. Um, Did you live over there by any chance? Never, mm. never lived out there. I lived in Jersey my whole life. Oh, this nigga is a American. fucking gringo. He's a fucking gringo. Yeah, yo soy un Dominicano-Americano. 
Okay. Yo soy Do, yeah. Dominican pero, Jersey. Un Dominican pero, Jersey. Don't get me wrong. Like, my parents, <laughs> yo sé, yo sé hablar um, español, tú sabes. Yeah, like, better than it. most of, like, my peers. Because my Jersey parents. Dominicano. Because <laughs> my parents, they raised me speaking Spanish. So, yo, yo puedo, yo puedo hablar español, you know, fluently. Yeah. Not the best, but. Yeah, yeah, no, no, okay. Sabes. But, you know. Tú te defiendes. Yo me defiendo. Está bien, no, déjalo. Dale, dale, dale. Dale, dale. Yo te voy a echar un cuento ahorita. Date que tú. Yeah. Yo, um, so, okay, so now your stories are from the United States. So, when you were... You had to put on the Harvard voice. When you when you were in, in the grammar school, middle school, high school, I need a story, a juicy one. Like, you know what I'm a saying? Juicy one, the, one, I mean, a, one of the good shits. One of the good shits, you know what I mean? I have a lot of juicy ones. Right now... <laughs> um, thing is that I have a whole juice bar. I have a whole... I, yeah, they call me flavor. I have a whole thing. Right now, I mean... Don't tell me about it. This nigga said, I got a whole thing. <laughs> they come in the whole thing. They come in flavor. They said they come in flavor. Stop playing, stop playing. Uh, I don't really know. What do you want to know? Like, Una travesura de esa que ustedes... Some, ch ch some kid shit that some you used to do that, that was stupid, nothing, but... Nothing, nothing over the top. Just some crazy, stupid kid shit. Like, God damn, that shit was hilarious, but why the fuck um, was that? Like, what he did was extreme. That was crazy. You know, we, we don't want nothing like that. We, <laughs> we wasn't expecting him to be fucking... Uh, uh, you know, Pablo Escobar Jr. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't know he was a drug trafficker, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man. Nah, um, fuck. I don't really know, bro. Like, I mean, I have a lot. I have a lot of cool stories. Um, shit. It was one, man. I know you have I one. I have good. a lot. Yeah, You've I know won. You have yeah, one. All right. So I, <laughs> I pushed my cousin under a car one time. Wait, what? <laughs> That's just one. Hold on, come on, come on, come on. You got to start. Why did you do that? Build the story to where you pushed it. All right, all right, all right. So my mom, I was living, Um, you know, I live here in Jersey or whatever. My mom was leaving the house. She was going to go to the dollar store and run some errands and shit. Ella estaba arreglando por la casa, doing some construction, my father and my uncles and stuff. And me and my cousin, estaban por ahí jugando, estaban jodiendo. And... We were trying to stop my mom from going to the dollar store because we wanted something, right? So me and my cousin thought it was a smart idea to get behind the, the car and try to push the car so she could get our attention. I don't know what possessed us to get behind the car, but we got behind the car and we started pushing it and she's reversing against it. And we're pushing it still. Like, we're here thinking we're Superman and Batman. Because that's that was us, These me and my cousin. Dumb, we were we were Superman and Batman. Uh, <laughs> what, what was it? Goku, Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like, we could do anything. But not that. <laughs> but that. I could do anything. I, I, but I, that. El super idiota y el abatido. Was it dumb and dumber? <laughs> so, um... We, something happened. <laughs> I end up tripping my cousin. He gets under the car. He told him on the pot. I mean, I look at what My father's on the rooftop. I swear I saw this nigga jump from the rooftop to the floor straight. Damn. Monchi, one of my uncles, go from the from the gate. You know, you have to have that one uncle named Monchi or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, always. Monchi Alessandro, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, he, he, no, no, no. We have aunts. We have aunts. Monchi, Tito, Feli, all my uncles. They. They went to the car, lifted the car up five feet in the air. All these guys grab my cousin, take him to the hospital. Everything's fine. Nothing happened to him. All right. Five feet in the air is crazy. <laughs> the niggas turned to Yo, they turned. The niggas said. They were, yeah, they yeah, they, they, they're incredible. They were, they, they were already in heat. They were already working. So they was already nah, ready to go. Yeah, ran, they was ready to go because something could have happened. They thought that he died. They thought the nigga was goner. Of course. El primo mio te lo, to the nigga, I'm good. El primo mio te un coco del diablo. They thought his head was going to get smashed. Type shit. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Nah. That's, 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 that's one of mine. That's one of the second craziest things in my childhood that ever happened. So, wait, so, so that's the second? That's yeah, the second. Hit yeah, you would want to hear the first one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, it's... hold on, hold on. Talk, talking about crazy stories, talking about crazy stories, right, right. this is wild. So I just went to Miami, right? Did I tell you what happened in Miami? You said it in the chat. Oh, I did. Wait, I, recently? What happened? Nigga, I went to Miami like two weeks, three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Birthday. I thought you went for Miami music. No, no, no. For my birthday. It was like, and it happened to be like spring break. Okay. Yo, my nigga, so whatever. Um, I'm gonna try. To, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this quick. So, point was that um, Leo's phone got messed up, and he left it at the phone spot, like to go get a fixed screen and shit. So we're gonna go yeah, pick up. Me. We're gonna go pick up Leo's phone, and we make um we make a right by mistake. We make a right by mistake, 
And when we go, it's a dead end, but it's a beautiful dead end. It's a beach, palm trees, water. Paradise. Like, a sad. Tú me entiendes? Los buildings. Yeah. So, and we had rented a Jeep. Like, the manita que tú le quita el roof. Yeah. So we're like, yo, fuck it, yo, let's take a picture, right? It'll be fucking amazing, right? Take a picture, nice pic, you know, guys walling out of Miami, blah, 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 blah. And then Leo goes like, nah, 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 nah. Let me go get my phone, because it's up the block, so that I could take the picture for you guys. Yeah. We're like, fuck it, you know? Leo, Leo, take great pictures, let's do it. Yeah. By the time that we go from the spot that we are at yeah. to the corner, Leo gets out of the car, goes into the phone spot, Comes back out. And I'm talking comes back out within minutes. We drive back down. We see a guy on the floor. I'm like, damn, this guy's bodied. Crazy. We're Miami. I'm thinking this guy's drunk. Right. But then I noticed that he's bleeding. So I'm like, damn, I think I like from from his ass. This is what I'm seeing. Exactly. Exactly. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I'm like, damn, my nigga, how drunk do you have to get to bleed from your ass? Like, that's wild. This is my thought process, yeah. right? This is my thought process. <laughs> but then I look, I kind of noticed like the, the silence in the car. And I look at the guy from a more like distance. Like, I guess like my eyes unfocused from the blood. Yeah. And then I saw that the guy's arm was broken. And I'm like, damn, nigga, like what the fuck? And then it clicked. He got ran over. The guy jumped from the building. Stop. Oh, shit. Jumped from the... Within the time that we went from Ima- where we were. Imagine these niggas would have never left. Imagine we would have never left. would have jumped in front of them. Oh, this... Oh, no. so there was nothing there. <laughs> there was nothing <laughs> there. You guys went for the fucking phone. Came back. Came, came back. back and there's blah. a dead dude on yeah, the floor. Yeah, he's dead? Yeah. No, I thought nah. we evil. I thought we evil. So, so, so some guy comes. Yeah, hold on. So some okay, guy. What? Super Yeah, yo. Vegeta. So check, check, check. So some guy, <laughs> some guy comes from behind and goes like, yo, I heard him. Fall. Yeah, Girl. and and then yo, and everybody's panicking. Call 911, call 911. And I'm Is like, Miami? Yeah. yeah. Nah. So I'm like, at this point, I'm like, so I'm like, I'm much more on the like, all right, cool, bro. I guess I gotta call 911, right? So I call 911. Boom, boom, car, car. Uh, the lady on the on the phone is like, like, where are you? What's happening? I'm like, yeah, there's, there's a there's a body here, you know. <laughs> but I'm mad calm about it, and like, she's confused the fact that I'm so calm about this. She's like, she's like, are you sure? How like, are you supposed to act? Well, I mean, I mean, think about it. There's some people that probably will yeah, freak out like to see some shit like that, right? Oh my God. So I'm not. I'm like, no, I'm look. I'm in front of the onyx. Wow. Yeah, the student. This is building. Boom, boom, boom. And then the guy gets there, and there, and they, the cop. Out of all people, the cop goes. He's like, yeah, yeah, where is he? And I'm like, oh, he's right there. One of the cops goes, and he's like, oh, my God. And I'm like, nah, in my head, nah. I swear to God, in my head, I'm like, my nah, guy. Not even you. My guy, you were a cop. Like, <laughs> you and probably you, see you this. prepared him. <laughs> you in Miami. Yeah. You nah. probably see this all the time. That was, like, worse. that was the first night in Miami. Literally. Probably. <laughs> for sure. No, that was first my first. That was my, that was my first day in Miami. No, I was saying the cop. No, that was the oh, first, the cop. First yeah, first, probably. Yo. That nigga tracked from North Dakota. So then, <laughs> my, I have a letter. Uh, Virginia. Uh, uh, Mira lo que. Mira lo que. Mira lo que. Yeah. Yeah. So then, my thing is, is like, I, I, oh, no, the cold, bro. Oh my <laughs> so my thing is, is that like, when it comes to like situations like this, like, my automatic reaction to this is to laugh. Like, right. That's like, your that's mechanism. My, yeah, that's, that's the my way coping, to cope with That's this. my coping right. mechanism. I just laugh. I, Yo, I so tell me how, tell me how I'm literally at a point where I'm like, I right, we got to go because I'm about to like start, start laughing. Dying? But the thing is like, yeah. just imagine the guy who calls 911 starts laughing in front of a bunch of cops. I'm right. pretty sure that does not look right. Right. No, right. no that's not look right. right at it's, all. Like, it's like he has so, something to do with it. Exactly. So I'm like, so I'm here telling the cops like, yo, uh, y'all need me for anything? Y'all need me for anything? Yeah. Oh, I could go. Yo, I leave. And literally, once I get into the car, I am like in tears, right. laughing. It's but it's not because not it's funny. It's you kind of like, like yeah. Ha, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. 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 I do it all the yeah. time. I do it all the time. It's funny because you know I do that. Like when, I laugh. When, at, I just if you just hear me like, <laughs> like that's just me dealing with it in a traumatic <laughs> way. <laughs> this nigga, the, me and this nigga, you know, we always worked at the clubs together and shit. Mm-hmm. I be, I better go to the clubs now, but <laughs> this nigga. Like, niggas tend to want to fight this. I don't know why the fuck they want to fight You? Negro. Yeah. Like, why would you want to fight me, bro? Why would you want to fight Negro? Huh? Every time, like, this nigga, niggas want to fight Negro. I'm like, I don't know why, why niggas want I don't know. I don't know why. Negro. Negro. Like, Negro's like the friendliest person I know. 
So this nigga is like some niggas in front He's of him. He's petty though. Some niggas in front of him. Sure. Some <laughs> niggas in front of him going crazy. Some niggas in front of him. Blah, blah, blah. And I see this nigga laughing. I'm like, all right, it's static. <laughs> I know, because I know this nigga. So I got pull up. <laughs> so all right, so I'm I'm, I'm let's, let's bring that back a little bit, right? Go, go, go. So there's this guy, and I forgot why the situation came up, but he's like, no, like get the fuck out of my way. I'm like, yo, my brother, look, I'm trying to like get the situation settled, blah, blah, blah. He's like, nah, nah, nah. Like, yo, I'm gonna shoot you, bro. He's talking oh, crazy. You're trying to defuse the situation. Yeah, bro, but he's talking like, to me crazy. He's trying to so then at this point, he forgets about the entire problem. Now he's focused on me. Right? He's like, nah, bro. But as he's talking to me. I see these niggas start surrounding him, right? So he's talking crazy, and I'm here like, <laughs> he's dying. And then and then he goes, oh, nah. and then he's like, yeah, you think this is funny, right? You think this is funny? And then right? it's me behind them, right? Mi compadre is on his left, and one of our boys is on his right. And this nigga is like, oh, nah, nah. and then the nigga on the le- on the on the right is like, negro. We fucking this nigga up right now or later? Oh <laughs> literally right next to him. It's like literally, oh. he's, nigga, like, he's next. You to like you're like this and Negro right here. My man's is here, not even on Negro. Like he's next to him. Like Negro, we fucking him right now or later? And I'm like, bro, calm down. And like you know, how, like Negro's older than me, but I'm tall. Like I'm, I'm built tall. Boom, you know, yo, calm down. Nah, nah, nah. Who his boy see this? His boy, the nigga's boy. He's like, nah, he's drunk, bro. My fault. Ah, ah, ah. They take that nigga. But like, yeah. you nigga, you stupid. Blah, blah. The nigga was like, yo, you thought ready to romper his cabeza? Because this nigga his be static. His boy saved his life. The, yeah. Our friend right here, this yeah, nigga yeah, be static. Yeah, he, yeah he, he's with the shits all the time. 24-7. All the time. He's with the shit. You need a person like that, honestly. No, I don't like that. I don't have a person so? like that. Yo, shout out Jason, yo. Shout out Jason, bro. Shout out my boy Jason. Nah, nah Mani, tell us what you said, I'm too old for that shit. Tell us what you said. I don't like that. Tell us what you said. Yo creo que hay energías que uno debe de guardarse. Right. Tú me entiendes. Right. Porque imagínate, nosotros de que ponernos de loco con un maldito totao. You're right. Tú me estás entendiendo. Exacto. Cuando viene a ver, he's drunk. Let's sell his arm. Tú me entiendes. ¿Qué yo hago? Me río, manito. Tú eres bacano. Eso es lo mío. Tú ganaste. Tú eres yeah, bacano. Yeah, you're you're kindness, tú eres bacano. Yeah. Tú eres duro. Tú eres el más fuerte. El más duro de tu... aquí es tú. tú Exacto. Eres, tú eres el primo de Rambo. Tú <risa> matas a todo el mundo. Tú matas a todo el mundo. Exacto. Yo soy amigo tuyo. <risa> ¿Qué, tiempo, ¿Qué tiempo tenemos? It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. All right, gentlemen. Do you, y'all know how this thing works right here? Let's do it. Trivia. I mean, heard about trivia. All right, Let's cool, 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 cool. So we get the trivia. You guys have to come up with one answer. You got three lives. Three you lives. got three lives. You got the three lives. The answer is a unanimous answer in between y'all. So y'all have to decide the answer together. It's not you got one answer. You got so it's we one come answer. Up, we decide yes, on an yes. answer and say. If you're one. wrong, if you're wrong, you, we take a shot. Everybody we take, a, take shot. a shot. Everybody takes a shot. Diablo. I should have. You got, got three lives. Do you I'm see what I'm saying? I was, I was just, up, you didn't work. I, 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 I was letting you do your thing. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, the I henny, was letting you rock. The Henny makes me wiser. Which ah, I yeah, exactly. Worry, well, you better, you better call you on the Henny gods. You know 80 shits? Huh? You know shit from the 80s? Michael Jackson? <laughs> Michael well, here we go. <laughs> Hold on, let's go. Let's try, bro. I don't know. And with trivia from the 80s. Jesus. What were the names of the Blues Brothers? Amy Madri. A- Jake and John. Okay. B. Multiple Jake times. and Elwood. Mm. C. John and Elwood. Hilda. D. George and Ringo. This nigga said. Yeah, C. I'm gonna go with C. All right, we're gonna C. go with C. You're gonna go with C. John and Elwood. This is your final answer. Is C. John and Elwood your final answer? Yes, yes sir. Prepara los tragos. The answer was B. Jake and Elwood. Jake and Elwood. Jacket Listen, and Jake. And Look, Listen, Elwood. I wasn't and even born. I'm not even mad at that. He said, but I'm ready for the, the end next of the question, day, baby. bro. It's night. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Diablo, me pasé, me pasé. That's my father. Yeah, yeah. de, de tra, de tra, oh. Detrás del último no hay nadie. That's a fact. ¿Qué se le fía esa vaina, loco? El culo del talla atrás. Préstame el baile. Detrás del último está el culo, oíste. Llévate de mí. Lo estoy tratando bien, oye. Gracias. Hey. Oye, salud para los que están vivos, salud para los que están sí, vivos. Mira, mundo, eh. Sal, oh, salud oh, para Colombia, República Dominicana y toda la gente de uno. Go get it. Go get it. Así no. Nice.
That's how y'all feeling right now. Wow. Ooh, he. Honey, I don't know what it is. No matter how many times I drink that shit, el amigo vaina, it still makes me like a demon. I don't think, I don't think you could ever have a like a a, a straight chef. face. A no matter. Well, no, I mean, no, VS, 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 I'm not a fan of Hennessy White, yo. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of Hennessy White. Yo, pero esa vaina como apple juice, dog. No, 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 no. You bugging? You You know what's funny? We were just talking about it. The what Hennessy is doing? The cans. Oh yeah, the cans. With the Hennessy cans, I want to try that. I want to try that. I was thinking about ordering them. And let's let's get back to what you were saying, like the whole branding thing. Like, well, the that, that, that's the thing. I think brands need to understand, and this goes for artists as well, right? Is like understand that once you're a brand. You could branch out to other things, but just stay, you know, just stay true to your brand, right? At the end of the day, when people think Hennessy, they're going to think about the liquor, right? Absolutely. They're going to think about the cognac. That's what they're going to think yeah. about, right? But that doesn't say that Hennessy can't have a beer. That doesn't say that Hennessy right. can have a, like, so a... So it's 100%. Hennessy beer? I don't know what it's like. No, it's, it's like, like a, a, it's like a Henny, it's a Because I know it can't be straight Hennessy. No, no, no. no, no, no. It's, like it's, like crazy. it's like a seltzer. It's like, it's like a seltzer with Coke, I think yeah. it is, right? Imagine shotgunning a... Uh, can of honey? Oh, oh my God. God. I, would, uh, nah, I think it's like a salsa and it has a bit of some honey. <laughs> I never would try. <laughs> no, I think it's like a, I think it's like a honey and coke, some shit like that. Mm, like, yeah, yeah, it's like oh a honey, like a soda and honey. Yeah, like a That's, soda type of. I'm not so mad at it. Uh, Oh wow! Uh, once again, I'm going on based off. I'm going based off of what I've yeah, seen yeah, on the gram, right? Yeah. Nah, I, haven't had, so I haven't tried this. I'm gonna try that. Shit. But then, 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 but un un honey un honey perfume pero que huele bacano tú me estás entendiendo right. no, not heavy. Right. I mean, I've seen that shit before I've seen that shit before like they, they do like uh, brands on different things and you stuff know, like that you know talking like, about that you know what I have I have a cologne a Mercedes cologne Mm. Oh, I have a Mercedes. Yeah, no, yeah, Mercedes too. got yeah. it. That is, it's, it's from called Mercedes. Something Ferrari else by Mercedes. Too. Ferrari got it too. It would have to be like De Lo Mio by Hennessy. Like, <laughs> this nigga <laughs> straight. De Lo Mio. Nigga said De Lo Mio. And for nah. the girls, it'd be like De La Mia. De La Mia by Hennessy. <laughs> nah, crazy. that's funny. Um, nah, I just feel like uh, with the whole branding thing, like as long as, like. If we had right now Henny cans and not the bottle, it'll make me want to get a bottle. Like, as long as I know, like, I see the brand name everywhere, right. like, you're going to want to, you know, not like on some Ember Comey official, it's, like, it's everywhere, you feel me? Like, holler for No, no, yeah, it. like, it has like, to be good quality shit. Yeah, it has to like, remind you of the main yeah, product. Yeah, 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 yeah right. exactly. That's the main product. Yeah. Henny. Liquor. But think about it like this. What's this nigga's name? Um, The Puerto Rican singer, um, uh, Eladio Carrion. Uh-huh. Eladio Carrion just dropped the beer. Did he? No. Yeah. With the, hey? with, the Ache, with the Ache. Yeah, nah. nigga. Yeah. Okay. He just I dropped the, he just dropped the beer brand. Yo, he's good. Wow. He's but moving once, fast. But bro. then once again, think about think about that. Like he's an artist. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. But he has a beer now. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah. Eso dinero faturado. Yeah. Eso dinero we faturado. Have, we have, actually, sticks, so we actually have subida. an idea. It's not like the same thing. It's an idea. But here. So it's like uh or so you know, being that we just dropped this song, go get it. Um, on all platforms, basically you want to drop like there's this juice, uh, this is juice juicer or whatever in Garfield called Juice World, um, and they do like natural juices and stuff like that. People who go to fitness and all that kind of stuff. We're trying to do like a go get it drink for the month. You know mm. what I mean? Like yeah, you know stuff like that. You like know, a like, morning drink, go get it. it has like but ginger but, in it. But once but, but, get your peppy ginger, up. But then but but then, but then think about it. Like once again, it's about the branding, right? Like mm-hmm. once again. It goes with a promo. Like, right. you know what I mean? It's a promo. Next thing you know, think about it. Let's say like the, the drink hits. Let's say like the song doesn't hit. Okay, you don't look it, all right? Yep. Let's say like the song doesn't hit. Yeah. But, the, but drink the drink does. does. Now people on the obligation is like, fuck it. If this drink was based on the song, I got to now go check the, check the song out. The song out. has to be fire because yeah. this drink crazy. Like, this drink is crazy. It's like, oh, like the Cola Ray remix of Players. It's like the song was at lit till DJ Smalls hopped on and made a remix, Jersey Club remix, and then everybody and blew then, up. And then everybody's like, yo. Now David get a remix. Yeah, that shit is true. That shit is true. Okay, vamos para atrás para la música. 11, 11. Cuando... Cuando no? ¿Quién, quién fue? Are we quién? done with the trivia? I'm just asking. No, no, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. During the pod. It, it just keeps coming. Keeps okay. coming. Eh, cuando, cuando, ¿Quién fue la inspiración tuya para toda esa música? Who, who inspired you to make music? Like, who wow. are those artists that you were like, damn, bro, like, I, swear, I wish I could do some shit like that. Bueno, you know what I mean? En realidad, mira, fue, no fue hasta que cuando yo, mira, yo cuando era un niño, mi mamá me dice que cuando tenía dos años, 
uh, I listen to the Backstreet Boys and shit like that. Ooh, that's, that's my Backstreet's shit. back, all right. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I used to watch them. And, and listen, I don't remember this shit. Yo no me acuerdo de nada de lo que me están, lo que estoy hablando, pero mi mamá me decía que yo los veía ellos presentarse y yo corría donde mi mamá y le decía, mami, hágame un micrófono so I could sing like them. And then Ooh, I used he, to yo. walk around, and I used to literally have you the said, microphone. Let me get the 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 the, 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 the small ear He made shit. some bullshit. My you know what I'm talking about? Pelcha, nigga, you get a like, she put she put she put yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm walking around. I thought I was the shit. She says, "Ever since then, my mom says, ever since then, I knew you was gonna be a star." And I, that kind of like resonated, stuck, stuck yeah. to me, and I believed it growing up. Mm-hmm. Right. So what was my inspiration? My mother, of course, but it was when I first came here to the United States. My cousin put me on the song Forever by Drake, Kanye, Lil Wayne, and Eminem. Mm. Remember that song? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And I used to never listen to rap. That I was a good song. Spanish it because I just came from Colombia and I'm still at home. So all I'm talking is Spanish. All I know is this until I really started branching out. My cousin Christian, he put me on Forever. And then I became an automatic fan of Drake. Uh, Kanye, Lil oh, Wayne, and Eminem remember, in yeah. that order. That was some yeah. crazy shit. And then I started just looking at all their discography and listened to them. I was a little-ass kid, bro. Like, what? Like, 12, 13, right? And bumping yeah. that shit. And then it was Drake that really start, like stuck with me because I really started listening to him back, back then. And saw his development, and somehow his music like correlates to how I live my life as well. Mm. So it's crazy. And then that he just helped me open up myself as a person, and it made me like it inspired me. I'm like, yo, honestly, I kind of feel him, and I feel like I could touch people how he touches people. You feel me? Mm. And ever and I'm like, I've always wrote all my life, and then it was that with like my mom always saying I'm a star. It gave me the confidence to say, fuck it. I'm going to do this I'm shit. I'm going to do this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then now I'm here, bro. I have a lot of inspirations now, including this guy right here. But, um, Ugly ass nigga. But um, <laughs> this bum ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best DJs in Jersey, hands down. Appreciate but, um, you, bro. But um, real talk, like, that was the start. Okay. Y tú, Mr. Flavor. Flavor. Nah, tú sabes, mi papá. Papa, um, love that guy, bro. He put me on, man, when I was 14. Um, he used to take me everywhere, DJing. Um, él tenía sabor, sabor, ese sabor, you know, like, when he would talk in the, mo- in the microphone, everybody would listen to him. He had this voice that would summon everyone, and everybody just fucked with him. And I was there, paying attention, taking notes, you know, observing, analyzing. Setting up the speakers and everything, and then eventually, um, one day I went to pick up a, a speaker with him. Shout out to DJ Pressplay at Pressplay's Oof. crib. Mm. Shout out um, Pressplay. Shout yeah, out Pressplay. Pressplay would uh, rent out speakers and shit. He was with him when he first started and everything. Um, we we're picking up a speaker, and you know, Pressplay was like, "Yo, what's good? Like, what's your son's name and shit?" And um, he looked at me. I don't even have a name yet. He looked at me and he was like, "DJ Flavor." I was like, that's my name. Oh, DJ Flavor. Yeah, I didn't even pick wow, the name. Wow, first play gave me a name? No, my, ba- my father. Oh, your yeah, dad, your dad, your dad. My father. Oh, wow. Um, and he gave me the name. I don't know. Like, I just took it. I was like, fuck it. That's my name. And then I thought it was too short. It's funny. I started with DJ Flavor. I, I thought it was too short, so I, I made it DJ Flavor enough, you know, thinking a lot and stuff like, you know. And then, um, y después... With time, I shortened it. I thought it was too long. You know, on the flyers, it looked a little bit too messy. So I started shortening it and shortening it. I like, I always had a brand concept. Going back to the whole brand thing, I always had a brand mentality. Like mm. everything, I, everything I ever did with my name, I had to make it look good. Like at first it was a little sloppy. Shout out to uh, DJ Frank Roth. When I had a conversation with him, he told me, anything you do, you have to make sure it's different. And then from that day on, it spread a stem in my mind that kind of allowed me to that step outside. Like, whatever I thought everybody was doing was normal. I had to be like, I have to step outside that. Like, I'll bound. I have to step outside of myself. Okay. And then I did. 
So ever since then, I you know I called myself Mr. Flavor when I was sixteen, but I never went with it. I just I stayed I stuck with Mr. Flavor. I mean, with DJ Flavor enough, whatever F L V R E N U F throughout the years. Y después viniendo like a year ago, I ended up changing my name to Mr. Flavor just officially. Um, I feel like I set a couple milestones for myself, and I'm still growing as a DJ, but. Um, My father really was the person that put me on. Okay, hablando de, hablando de fathers. Shit. You a father, bro. No, nah, hell You're not no. a father? Hell no, nigga. This nigga Either. is not a father. I thought he was a father. <laughs> hell no. All right, you're not a father. I'm a father. <laughs> I, think you I think you're the only father here. Yeah, I am the only father here. Apparently. Congratulations uh, he just, to that. He just wanted to have something in common with someone. Yeah, I, 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 thought, I, thought, I thought we had something in common. Okay, but, okay, so... You you want to be a father in the future, right? Yeah, for sure. So your father inspired you in that way. Um, what what do you want to show for like when when you do have kids? What do you want them to be like? Oh, yo, my dad was this guy. You know what I'm saying? Because probably you're gonna be like, yo, I'm not a DJ no more. Fuck this shit. I do this now. But you want your kids to go back and be like, yo, my dad used to do this. Yeah. I know he this right now, but my dad used to go like this. Like he came from down here. You know what I'm saying? So that that legacy that you're building, it's gonna be something that your kids in the future will be yeah. really proud of if yeah. you keep going and you get to where you want to go. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like in the future, I want my kids to just know that I was rely. I'm a reliable guy. Like anything that anybody any ever wanted to get done, I could do because I never set a boundary for myself. Like mm. I just put myself. I dove into anything and I did it. Well, I did it clean and sexy. You feel me with flavor? El final. La, 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 okay. la, la. What's the flavor? How long have you been doing music? Officially. Uh, not like, oh, not trying, but how long have you been? Like, I, like I dropped my first song, mm -hmm. I would say 2018. Okay, 2017. so what's that? Like five? Five six years? years? Five, six years? Yeah. Um, yeah, officially, uh, it all started, it's funny, um, Music really got popular in my school, and everybody started doing music. Was everybody crazy. was a rapper. Yeah, I think I think Listen everyone has everybody that everybody moment in high school everyone. when everyone just starts doing Listen, music. Yo, nerds. yo, call me Young Diggy Diggy, nigga. For everyone, the talking the nerds, about. the athletes. I, I went, we went to school together. So we, all right, can we? All right, so can we start from the top real quick? We knew each other since fourth yeah. grade. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, this is my best friend. It's, oh, remember I told you I came back to Colombia? I came back from Colombia the yeah. second time. So I was the new kid, and he was in my class. So you know when in elementary school, they'd be like, this is the new kid. Mm. And <laughs> this the, the new parents kid. are behind you. Parents are like there, like making sure you're good and good hands and shit. No one reacted. No one gave a fuck. <laughs> and this thing is like, oh, new kid. My parents are like, we like him. He's cool. Make him your friend. And... So what he don't know is that him. since then is when I was helping my father DJ. And so I was always like, not that I was always like, I didn't know what I was doing, you but just, I was there. You were the just mix. chilling with yeah. your pops. Mm -hmm. I wasn't too into music when when I was that that age though. A I lot was of more like a free spirit. I was more into sports, but this dude's been doing his DJ. I've known he was a DJ since. Since I had an accent. <laughs> Damn. Yes, I, yes, I used to call him fast. Since I used to speak it like this and in English. No, here. no. You're peor, bro. <laughs> I, I, used got bullied. Him, I got bullied. I got bullied out of that him, shit. I used to call him fast. Remember that 70s show? <laughs> fast? No. No? You never seen that 70s show? No. No? You're lying. Oh. Wow. Yeah, he's just, no, yeah, he's just some yeah. foreign no, yeah. dude that like has a, an accent. He's a foreign dude that had a heavy yeah, accent. But, um, so I used to, he used to be my fast. Yeah. You know, but I, I bully. I, I got bullied. You out got of that bullied shit. out of that shit. Yeah, that's bro, crazy. Like, nigga, that, yo, yo, speak English properly, nigga. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, huh? okay, okay. <laughs> nah, but yeah, bro, we go way back. Yeah. Crazy. So, so since then, um, like I, like I had that grind, like mm. with music, mm. okay. like literally with my father. Even and growing up, like I used to visit him in like bowling alleys. Used to DJ the bowling alleys. I'm like, what the f how do you even get there? <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the lane. I didn't, like, I didn't, I didn't even know. I didn't know they had DJs. In the middle so of the lanes, so they had to bowl right DJ under the set type shit. No. Yeah. Yes. Wait, what the fuck? How? 
I'm, I'm a young ass kid. Like, what the fuck? But <laughs> lanes did where you deep? Somebody just they let just that closed, shit go. They closed it down like a couple years ago, though. Yeah, that there. shit was lit. But yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was like, different. I had all my friends full like, up. I guess fuck it. We out here. It was different. But yeah, he's been grinding, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's what's up. Let's hit the nineties. Let's hit the nineties. Let's hit the nineties. Here we go. Trivia from the nineties. Which is not considered a grunge band. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take the shot now? You want to take nah, it? Nah, let's go because I might like, guess it right. He's like, fuck. A <laughs> Pearl Jam. Mm-hmm. B Sound Garden. Mm-hmm. C Nirvana. Mm. D Matchbox Twenty. You're Nirvana. Sure. I'm no, Nirvana. Shut up. Shut the. F- <laughs> I don't know none of these niggas, bro. I've I've heard of Nirvana. Nirvana and Pro Jam. I know none of these niggas, bro. Pro Jam? I've heard, I've probably heard of Pro Jam. Never heard these niggas in my life. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Where are we going? I plead the fifth. We're gonna go with B. Because we don't remember what it was, so it's probably not relevant. Nigga, get my thought process. I don't remember Yo, B, so I what think we should B go again? with... I don't remember. That's so, the one, so, nigga. So yeah, it's B, Sound the Garden, your final answer? Yes. Now that he heard the answer, he's like... <laughs> I need a yes. I need a yes. Yes. B... Is not the right Fuck, answer. Man. Yo, damn. The right answer was D, Matchbox 20. Oh, that was damn. my second guess. <laughs> 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 nigga, no, it fucking wasn't. What fuck is you talking about? Lying ass, yeah. nigga. Damn it. Nigga, you still have it? Yo, my eyes are fucking bugging. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Nah, Don't stop. Go get it. <laughs> he said, thank God you're driving. Wait. He said, wait, <laughs> he said, wait I'm driving? <laughs> Like, thank God you're driving. Yeah, no, no, no drinking and driving, ladies and gentlemen. No drinking and yeah, driving, absolutely. please. Look, this is water. This so is apple, iced tea. Apple juice, apple juice. Iced tea, bro. We just mixed it right now. Cheers, guys. Salud, 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 salud para por su trayectoria, mi gente. You have one more life. Okay, okay. so. No, we have like three lives or something? Yes, yeah, just three. Just three. All right, so yo, we have to look crazy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, look, yeah. Bro, we're like from like no, what, the two thousands. We're gonna 2000s? get to the two thousands and we're good, bro. Yeah, yeah. All right, but, but then we go back to the eighties, so you know that's uh, fine. All okay. right, um, yo, so you guys just dropped a new song. Hold, mm. Before actually, before we get there, before we get there, mm. you told on the Vienna cheese man, right? Okay, El chisme. El chisme. El chisme. El chisme. El chisme. You just put up a post. Mm. Eleven. You just put up a post yeah. about about artists doing these uh, what you gonna call it um. That thing where they go and they sing and they pay to sing. What you call it? What, what, what? Uh, they're talking about showcases. Showcases, showcases, Damn. showcases. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? You just, oh, yeah, just yeah, made up a post about, about that. How do you even read that? Like, uh, he just yeah, posted I it. I know he just posted it. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what um, you get for posting. <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey, that's what social media does, right? Mm-hmm. So, how do you feel about these showcases that, you, that you're speaking about? Um, all right. So I think and, and explain the post for those who don't know. Explain the post. Um, today I tweeted that Five most showcases ago. are are scams, and the way I feel that way is because I feel like it originally started off with innocent behavior by the hosts and stuff. Like they would really help people out. You know, I want to see you win. You know what? I want to see him win. I want to see you win. I'm gonna throw a showcase, and I'm gonna invite people that want to watch him and they can help them out. Just fuck around. They're going to pay me, but I'm going to help them. I feel like nowadays, everything is money and that's it. Fuck these people. You get it? So I think people are starting to lose the real passion of wanting to help people and they're thinking money, which is nothing wrong with money, but it's like me as an artist, like I cannot like just sit there and like watch people go and pay to try and be something when... The answer automatically is going to be, you're just there for no reason. You're just there to get high, spend money, and perform to people that are not even paying attention to you. You get it? People don't like to organize things. People don't like to put things together. People just think that, oh, I'm a host. Yo, you and me did this shit. We got artists, play their shit. You're not even paying attention to them. Like, how? That's not, 
I don't think that's the right purpose. And I think everything is money first, money first. I I love money too, you feel me? But as an artist, that's why I'm saying I don't like that shit. Question. Like, when we did the show, we didn't charge them. We just no, we, we, made, we made them sell I, tickets. I'm not gonna lie, I used to throw showcases back in the day. I'm not selling gonna tickets, it's fine though. Yeah, we used to we told we told them so, we so sell so your tickets. So here's my thing. Here's my thing with this, right? And I think that my issue with upcoming artists yeah. is that sometimes these upcoming artists think that they're artists already. Yeah. That's my thing, right? Established artists. Right? Yeah. Established artists, yeah. right? They're Established artists. artists. They're still trying, like, we're all still coming up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Example, right? You got a showcase, and you want to post a flyer 10 minutes before you go on stage. Yeah, no. Nah. That's absolutely... Manito, no por nada, pero Manito, tú no eres nadie. Manito, ni tu mamá sabe que tú estás rapeando. Tú me estás entendiendo. Tú me estás entendiendo. Tu mamá está viendo un flyer. Ese es mi hijo. Exacto. So, entonces, lo que sucede es que, like, I think that as an upcoming artist, there needs to be a certain level of hunger and a certain level of work ethic that needs to come along with it. It is more than just creating your craft. Facts. You know what I mean? You could be the best artist in the world, but if you don't market yourself the right way, it's a rap. Yeah. If you don't put yourself in the right situations, it's a rap. You could be the best artist in the world. I feel and, like I and, feel like and it's a rap for that. I feel like people like try to like be that artist already, like you said, and they try to get that Soho background and they try to get that whole luxury lifestyle without going like thinking like you just without have to be grinding. organic. Just yeah. use your in, use your environment. People like that stuff. You have to just be natural. Get, but I to check out what you like, just don't like the grind. This is my bro. thing, right? Um, and I've and and listen to me. I've I've placed artists in stages that I know they don't belong in. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've placed artists in stages that I know they do not belong in. I've placed artists in parties that I know I've brought every single person in the building. Yeah. You sure I'm getting it? Yeah. Some of them have gone away with it because of our relationship. And once again, they got it. We got the relationship and they got it, right? Others, I've been like, yeah, I'm never doing this again. And I think as an artist, if you're given an opportunity to be on any one stage, the first thing you need to do is show the fuck out. Nice. Pull up 30 deep, even if you're pulling up 30 favors. And telling him, yo, yeah. come to this party and I'm going to do this for you or, or pull up deep. Because then what happens is you leave a good impression, not only on the promoter, but on the venue. And then everyone else who is there. Because mm -hmm. yeah. then they're going to wonder, is like, why are these 30 people following this guy? Yeah. Right? Now I'm interested to know. Yeah. Now I'm interested to know, like, why is everybody pulling out their phone? Who is this guy? You see what I'm getting at? And that's, that's what showcases are supposed to do. It's build curiosity on who's on stage, and now I need to know who they are. It's, it's, it's funny because if, let's say we are four artists, right? Mm -hmm. He has his fan base, you have your fan base. Or if we don't have a fan base, he has his friends, you have your friends, I have my friends, he has his friends. We got 30 friends each. He's putting a number out there. His friends are here for him. Yeah. But since I'm here, they're going to see me too. Facts. My friends are here for me. But since he's here, they're going to see him too. Right. If your friends are going crazy when you go and cup that, my friends are going to be like, what the, who the fuck is this? And then that's another 30 that's paying attention to you. Facts. It's another 30 from him, that's 60, 90. So you brought 30, but 120 people are looking at you right now. Mm. Yeah. See what I'm saying? I feel like. That's, that's, the, that's the point that Negro was trying to. Like, yeah, if no, you, I, I agree. I feel like you should never, you should never not bring people or you should never not promote it. I feel like that's that's not a problem at all, and that shouldn't be a problem for an artist because at the same time, if you're given the opportunity, like you said, I would have to get be responsible enough to make sure that, number one, I'm making you money because at the end of the day, that's what is, it's all about. Yeah. Get? But what I mean is, like, I hate people like that are selfish. Like, let's say I bring my people, right, and you bring your people, and you performed. And since you performed already, you're like, all right, I'm We out. out. And I've seen I've seen things do thirty that. people the time, and there's bro. a whole like Every two time. sections that are empty, and it's like damn, bro, like yeah, we that's, stayed that's for you, trash. and you just left with like. All right. But I, but I also believe like I also believe like in karma. Absolutely, it's gonna come at back. At the end man. of the day, like you know what I mean. Day, come back. And listen to me, it's it look it, look, it looks it's really like, cool. It looks really cool when you pull up deep, <laughs> and then you leave, and like oh shit, how much people left? Yeah, real cool, real cool for sure, but. The that, taste that you leave on people's mouth who were there yeah, is kind of like we're gonna mm, remember yeah. that. No, nah, but we're that also that also shows that those people are just following you, just cause. 
Not only that, you as an artist, you know what I'm saying? You as like an artist, there's a, sheep too, a wolf and sheep, hmm? yeah, there's a lot of sheep too, guys. Yeah, there's a lot of sheep. If there's sheep and you're a wolf, and that means that it was your decision. It's like being a president controlling the country. It was your decision to leave. So you think you're too good to stay after a performance just because you're you don't care about these other artists because you think you're so better? Who are you? Feel me, like. And so again, like he said, karma is going to come no one back here to him. Else you know? came for you. Like, Manito, you oye, oye, siempre he dicho, oye, eso, eso vuelve, olvídate del so mundo. Vuelve, no. Eso so vuelve, vuelve, olvídate del mundo. Ay, yeah. Yeah. Ok, voy, voy. Me, yo me robé este segmento, yo me lo robé de otro show que yo veo. Mm -hmm. It's called The Top Five, right? So you you are a rapper essentially, right? You uh, rap most of the say, time. No, I would say I'm an artist. Artist? Because like, like, you like, do, okay. I do a lot of music. So, okay, I need Top Five. Colombian artist for you. Okay. Jesus. Top, top five Colombian artist. Any Colum genre. Colum I don't care top, what the... Yeah, your, top your top five. I like... Oof. Juanes. Mm. Mm. That's, That's my number Jesus. one. Jesus. That's a good start. That's, That's a good one. start. He said... <laughs> he did a step ha. back, pull back in your face, ha. noggin, <laughs> poof. Nah, he said... Juanes, Juanes 100%. Negra, Negra. 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 Since I was born, bro, my family was always a big uh big fan of him and you know he he's done a lot for the community. That's just crazy. Juanes awesome. is that nigga. I like him. Juanes, cool. go ahead. Juanes, great guy. Number two, um, you guys probably not gonna know him because he makes something called I don't even know what the fuck that um, genre of music is. I forgot, but his name's Khaled Morales. Never heard Ni of idea. Him. Never heard about know. this nigga. King has it. He passed away actually. Yeah. Oh, rest he in peace, Khaled. A car accident. Fuck. It was bad. It was sad. Okay, but, so um, what was what was his music about? Um, his music just about love and. and it's just nice. I think it's Bajanato, but I don't want to lie. It's All right, so we got, we like got, we gotta have to look him up. Yeah, yeah. he's awesome. Um, my third, shit, I don't know that dude that goes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know oh, what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, has yeah. a lot of nice. He has a lot of nice songs. Too, um, like me. damn, what song is it? But that? they what? love him in Colombia, and that would be my top, my third. Yo, that um, song is. And then my fourth. Referee, my actually, can I give you six? No. Top Overlap? Five. Fuck. All right. Then my fourth is Maluma. I love Maluma. Maluma, Maluma's baby. Maluma's awesome. Mm. And my fifth is Fade right now. Fade. It was either Fade or J Balvin, but Fade writes a lot of J Balvin songs. So it's Fade. <laughs> so it's Fade, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Hey. Jorge Cal Cal Caledon. Jorge Caledon, your number three. Qué bonita es esta vida. Legend. Yeah, yeah um, he's awesome. Legend. Flavor. That's, that's, that's good. Flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me, my boy. Top five. Top I mean, five. I, uh, hold up. Time out. Time out. Time out. Um, and I'm just going to throw some names out there just because. Just, just, he forgot. Just, just Shakira, for the water. Carlos just, Vives. Like, <laughs> Carlos <laughs> Vives. I thought about him, but Shakira. Shakira. Damn. Shout out Shakira, though. Tenía un nombre. Yes, me lo que. What was this nigga's name? Eh, Joe Arroyo. Mm. I think I heard about him. Mm. Yes, sir. There's another guy. Nigga, that's nigga, that's the salsa king. You know nigga. that guy that's like, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta, That's a go legend. Gusta, like, oh, he's Colombian. Know, man. Yeah, he's Colombian. Colombia got, Colombia got. Yeah, Colombia got, Colombia got, Colombia got hit his. Yeah. All over though. Like, yeah. yeah. No, I was just everything. saying essential Colombian people. You feel me? Shout out to my boomers. <laughs> But no, but no, my, so old people, my old people. It's a defendio. It's a defendio. Shakira is on our side too. Shakira, no, Shakira, absolutely. I mean, Arabic I'm going to be honest with you. Shakira is. <laughs> yeah, Shakira is an icon. <laughs> Pero Shakira's Pero a mí nunca me. English, Espanol, so she Americanized herself to me. You feel me? Because I'm like, nah, now she's so international. Albums, nigga, I be crazy. forgetting that she's Colombian sometimes. Because oh, okay, yeah. she's just Shakira. I, I forgot mm. she's, she's just Shakira. Too, you feel no, me? No, so like, she's I up honestly, there, up there. Yeah, I didn't think about her like that. Top five Dominican artists. Mm, yes, that Dominican easy. artist. No, that's that's easy. That's easy, that's easy really. Oh. I don't think that's easy at all. Easy. Luis Segura, first mm, okay. one. Okay. Luis Segura, first one. Yeah, that's my first one. Oh, that's my grandmother's favorite artist. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's so a, that's a sentimental one. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Oh uh, damn. All right. So this is now that's ahora. Diga, oh, no, Nick, 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 Nick,
Second one, nah, it's crazy. Because second one has to be from El Santo. Respectfully. Okay. That's okay. crazy. Uh, he, he's not in my face. top. That's crazy. Now, nah, and then not in my top. Elvis Martinez. Well, mm. yeah. I like that. I like that. Top. And then um, Luis Valga. Mm. He's, he's just straight bachata with this bitch. Yeah. 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 You got one more. That's four. One more. Uh, mm. Bueno. I like them both, but it's not enough for me to pick none an of them artist, niggas like, top five. Nah, yeah, nah, not not even none three. of them niggas is top five. Not even five. a lot of five. A lot of five is like top fifty five. If I had to go back like to like a eighties, like an eighties artist, yeah, Blas Duran. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a good sure. one. Only because sure. he has my first name. Blast. Blast. Niggas, 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 Bro, nah, see, this is that thing with being. I don't I don't <laughs> know. I don't know. I'm just like, Michelle bro, went on, I need Robin um, here. My boy Robin, everybody. Cablo. Uh, Juan Luis Guerre. Oof. Yeah. You know That's my saying? number one. That's you know my number saying? one. Nah, like Michelle, Michelle just does some shit. Like, he just does some I shit. I have to, to listen to all these artists. Juan Luis Guerre, right? Mm-hmm. Zachary's Rivers. That's my two. That's that's number three. Nah, uh, that's crazy. Can I go back? <laughs> no, <give me> <laughs> Wasong Barasho Bang. Oof. Oof. This nigga's killing it right now. You know what I mean? What um, the hell is going oof, on? Number, number five. Ooh. Wait. Oh, yeah. You're on five. You're on five. You're on number five. Number five. I'm go. Fuck. I'm going to put eh, El Merenguero El Moreno, El Chiquito. ¿Cómo se llama? Merenguero El Moreno, El Chiquito. Sí, sí, sí. Del, del Afro. Del Afro. Yeah. Sergio Vargas. Sergio. Sergio Vargas. That's my nigga right there. Okay. I'm right here. I'm right there. Damn, that's a that's, that's a that's a good golden, one. Nigga. That's a good Damn, one. That's good. That's a good one. This was longer. I would have had a Toño on that bitch. That's good. Toño. Uh, you know. So lit, here, hear me out. My my list is gonna be a little. Yeah, I'm about to punch this nigga. Yeah, for sure. Say some bullshit. <laughs> I'm going with Juan Juan, Juan Luis Guerra is gonna Juan be. Guerra, that's, okay, that's, yeah, that's gonna yeah, be my one. That's gonna be my one. He's a legend. Sagari is my two. Sagari is my two. Yes, best bachatero all time. Yeah, um, three. Is Hector Acosta El Torito? That's my guy. Mm, Jesus I'm not that's mad, my guy. I'm not mad. I'm not that's mad. my I'm guy. Mad. That's my guy. I'm not mad. Right? And that's a personal one. I know that, that people people will fight that one. Yeah, they'll fight it. All right. My Why? four because he, he hasn't he like he, he was good for like a the, piece. No, 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 for no. That piece. No, no, no. Well, time out. Mm. It was gold. Re- no, rewind was, that. Who's the goat in that no. piece right there? This is this but, this is what I'm gonna say. Mm. This is what I'm gonna say. Within the bachata with no within the bachata control that Romeo has had on the genre, the only person that has consistently stayed in the conversation since the beginning of his career till today is Torito. Mm. Sacaria has always been next to him. Sacaria goes in and comes out. Okay, whatever. and that's what I'm saying. Whatever Torito said. has stayed on a flat line what, in the conversation. What new song, what new song I'm song saying Torito though, got? like. Hmm? I'm saying though, from what, what okay in the last what three years, what statistics are y'all pulling this from? What are y'all talking about? Like, no, we, we this in general. Yeah, no, no this, is, this is me listening it, to music. It's a, it's a like, listen to, like, yeah, oh, listening okay, with, to with DJs playing whatever songs uh-huh. they're yeah. playing. Yo, I'm not gonna see, lie. Hey, Moisey, hey. who's your fifth? No, I got, I got three. I got, I got four and five. I got four and five. Left. All right, so let's All go right. finish. Four and five. Four and five. Here's here's where here's where the here's where the fight starts. That's crazy. And it's because I feel like uh, this is a well, no. Voy a poner a Fernandito Villalona primero. Wow, Ooh. right? Ooh. Pero <laughs> para rema- pa rematar, para rematar toda la like, vaina. I don't know none of these, bro. Para rematar <laughs> todo. Like, my brain right now is that monkey, like. Pa- <laughs> <laughs> y para rematar todo. Mm. Mili Quesada. Oh yes. Wow. Ooh. Yes, Mili Ooh. Quesada. Mili yes. Quesada. Mili Quesada. Mili Quesada. One. Oh no no no! I was thinking Marian Cruz. Marian Cruz. Marian Cruz is tough too. Marian Cruz. Yo, volvió Juanita. Que no volvía. Marian Cruz is crazy. Come on, man. Don't disrespect this. I didn't. I didn't. I need mine. Mine like my little playlist. I'm not gonna lie, but there's a lot of other American artists that are. It's it's crazy. Okay, okay, it's okay. it's it's, it's, a, it's okay. a good it's a good bunch. Okay, it's what, a good bunch. What, what genre would you consider that you that you guys are involved in the most? Like, 
Urban, the most urban, right? Hip hop. Urban. No, I started off making music in English, like trap. You know when all yeah, that shows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like hip hop and shit like that. But I started slowly started transitioning to different rhythms and um and tempos. I kind of like reggaeton a little better. I want to start um spilling my talent into okay, that. My- and of course, Jersey Club. We actually want to create something called. Reggae, reggae club, reggae club, which is a mix of Jersey club and reggae. Okay, so just coming. My soon. top five is not done yet. Oh shit! Top five is not done yet. We we talked about artists. Like I said, I stole this from another podcast. Early. Okay, I be stealing. That's okay. <laughs> That's I be, good. I be stealing. stealing they just do you it, add your own little flavor. Yeah, to they just it, do it know? the one All way. Right, we do it another way. I Let's need another one. Your top five reggaeton songs. Reggaeton songs. 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 I need reggaeton songs. Right. Like old and new, don't matter. Top five reggaeton songs. Don't matter if it's fast or I don't slow. Give a fuck oh what my god! The, the song that you like. Reggaeton que hay. These, like you know, más rápido que you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. you know that this, these five songs that when you hear it, you're like, oh nah, these are the babies. Right? All right. Give me, give me. <laughs> you want to go first? <laughs> Who's going first? Colombia, Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. I, I this, is this is tough. I already know hey, listen, person. remember, I'm fresh off the boat, but I'm from here. Okay, so go ahead, gringo. I had to, I had uh, to. Green, green Gombia. I had to learn, <laughs> I had to learn my ways with reggaeton by myself. So this is, as far as I know, don't judge me. Judge him. No. Judge him in the comments. Go crazy. All right, whatever. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is tough. This I, tough. I like Rompe by Daddy Yankee. That's decent. Um, I'm not mad at that one. Okay. That's respectful. That's respectful. It's respectful. Yeah. No, I said res- okay, okay. respectful. Respectful. Uh, Rompe, um, AJ Joe. Mm. That's a good one. Um, where are we? Look at Can That's I two. can I be here though? Like in this yeah, era? yeah. In this era. This your is your top five. Yeah, right top now five. was I, it's in my head. Uh, uh, mientras te calientas, te okay. todo lo que Yandel 150. That shit mm, going hard. Okay. That shit is just popping right now. Uh, uh, but keep on going. Uh, it's just right now, it's, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's in my head. It's in my head. Hate in the comments, guys. Hate in the comments. You got three. You got two more. I got more. three, two so more. two more. Damn, yo, this is hard. This is hard. Yeah, I'm these thinking about songs. mine right now. Because I'm about know. to go to my car and listen to shit and be like, fuck, I should have said this one. Fuck. Um, you know that song's like, Dime no mami, que ha pasado, ya no me quiere, que ni me ha llamado, a ver que te quiero. I know what you're talking about. Who sings that? Um, fuck. Manuel. Hace mucho que le di nace, nada. Baby, da, 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 una se- yeah, se llama una señal. Una señal. Oh, yeah, that's my boy, so short. My boy, my boy, my uh, boy, Christian put me on that shit. shit oh, like, one more. Um, one more. I'm gonna be commercial with this one. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not gonna say that. One. <laughs> he's like, I'm, <laughs> he's, I'm like, get, he's I'm like, gonna, I'm gonna get roasted if I say I'm that one. I'm gonna get destroyed. Say it. No. <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> not seeing that, that one. I don't know. I like No Me Conoce remix. Okay. Okay. That should go hard. Flavor. Top my five. first my first Reggaeton. song is Ay Me Vengo. It's a uh, it's, uh, Ay Me Vengo. Ay Me Vengo. Never That's literally this. how it goes the whole time. Never I'm heard I'm of that one. It's fire, that, yo. But I never heard that <laughs> <laughs> That shit is fire. Some Peruvian <laughs> nigga. This nigga is Italian. I don't hey. understand. <laughs> just, I don't get it. Follow. Just, Just, you know. You know, there's a si flavor. Tú te también, there's a flavor. There's a flavor. Si tú te también, leave it in the comments. If you know the song, leave it in the yo, comments. Yeah, they know. They gonna know. That nigga lit, yo. Uh, fuck, man. Shit, gasolina fire. Mm, okay. That's gasolina that, fire. You have to mention gasolina. Yeah, fire. Yeah, um, gasolina fire. Uh, that Don Omar song. Um, hey, hey. Oh. Whoa. Okay, I know which one you're talking about. No, I don't know which one. Morena, yeah. Morena. No, but that's not the one. That's not the one. Daddy Yankee, Big Mato, and, uh, and uh, Nori. Oh, yeah, Nori. Oh, yeah, Mika. Oh, Nori, yeah. Nori, 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 Nori or Jimmy Canto. Yeah, Jimmy Canto. Nori, Canto, yeah. Big Mato, and Daddy Yankee. Mm-hmm. And Nina Sky. Mm-hmm. There is Nina there. Sky. Yeah. <laughs> Nori. That was good. No. Um, there's like one that, 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 there's, there's one Don Omar song uh, that I wanted to say, but I forgot, yo. Fuck it. Yeah, yo. Oh, no. No. 
That one, that one, that one, that one's hard. That one's hard. That one's hard. Yeah. Yeah. That that one's cool. Now, nah, but another, um, that's Curame by uh, Raúl Alejandro. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Curame is good. Um, and then what? That's like my fourth one. Mm-hmm. Fifth. Um, seven. Keep going. What? <laughs> you said that seven? Yeah. Right, I got you. No, uh, let's do it. We got one more. One more. Uh, fuck. Yeah, bro. And I'm a DJ too. Wow! Yeah, I would have been like freezing. freezing. <laughs> you know, on your laptop. You're Are like, you just clicking to click? Like, <laughs> you're going uh, through all your crates. There's just one. There's just one. Don't go mad. I'm trying to think about that Don't Omar this, song. There's a Don't Omar song with Fab. It's a remix. Mm-hmm. It's a blend. It's just hard. I, for, I, I forgot the name. Yeah, we're fabulous. I mean, what you talking about? Dale, five? dale, dale. Fuck. Dale. Dale. We're dale. Gonna, we're going gonna to put gasolina. Dale, dale, dale don dale. dale. We're going to put hey, gasolina first. Just, yeah. just to get it out the way. Yeah. Gasolina number one. Because gasolina is that gasolina. shit. Gasolina. Dime cuando tengo que esperar para que sea vida completa. Sayo y Lennox. Go cold. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Crazy. No me importa la gusta ya. Mayor que yo. That shit. Mi cama. That shit is crazy. That's my number three. This is when it gets, you know what I'm saying? This is where the fight starts. Tight. And this is where I go. Atrévete, te, te. Salte del closet. De tapate, quítate, que el desmantel. Déjate taparse. Que ya de van. This is like a TikTok reel right now. <laughs> Facts. Number five. Here we go. Oh. Number five. Dale con to. Damn. You know, thank God that be it. Damn, that's a that's a good one. 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 That's on my playlist. Poof. All right, cool. I play that right there. Everybody in the club getting crazy. Yeah, all right. So listen. So here we go. I hate putting gasolina first just because it's gasolina. That song is good. It's great. I think gasolina this tu sabes que hay canciones que son buenas y la gente te la mata. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that came out. Yeah. Like, Gasolina yeah. was that song. It's like, it's like, 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 like Yeah, me like, that was a song that when it came out, yes, I love it, bro. But then everyone just kind of, like, abused the song, and it's kind of yeah. like, no, I don't want to hear it anymore. No you more. know, the only way it's hard, when a DJ can transition out of it, fire. Yeah, and it's really hard to do. I'm going to tell yes. you something. You don't really listen to it a lot in the club no more. So when they drop it now... It's like, what? Wow. It's like, God, I like man. to do this routine where I, I have this little blend that I made. It's like, I blend it with um, Act Up. So it'll be like, um, I don't even know. You're gonna have to hear it when you hear it, but it's gasolina with act up. I might have to do like, an yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna heard that one. Yeah, 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 it's fire. Nah, All right, number two, yeah. Yeah. But that's not I'm not gonna let you slide. It's cool how you guys are doing it. I'm not gonna let you slide on that. Why not? Because bandolero, not a reggaeton. Count, Wait, man. It's nah, okay. That's a rap song. Yeah, it, but that's not. That's not. I know. All right. All right. Cool. Wait, cool. Wait, cool. Wait, cool. Wait, cool. What? That's cool. A, cool. That's cool. Not a reggaeton. That's a rap song. It's. A, it's. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Listen to it. They rapping. Bandolero, right? Bandolero. Yeah. Bandolero. Bandolero. Nah, I have to listen to it. Oh, I can sing. I can sing that shit in Spanish. That. Sleep. <laughs> Probably when he was younger. Uh, hey. I'll roast him. Oof, oof. You know what's a song that I really like? I don't know. I don't know. I can't recall the lyrics right now. Hey, Amor de Colegio. Mm, yes. Amor de Colegio. I forgot how yes. it goes, but Amor de, de Colegio. De Toritito. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Amor yeah, yeah. de Colegio. Amor de Colegio. Dámelo, Bipu. Si me da el beat. No. Amor de Colegio. Amor de Colegio. I'll tell you right now if I know that one. Yeah. Right there, man. That's like a, a super old reggaeton. It's like a classic. Yeah, yeah. I got it probably. Was... Yeah. I pause it. So we're you crazy, it. man? You crazy? Yeah. No, that shit was hard. Um, all right, let's see. I'm on two, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, oof. Felina! 
Tu cuerpo es tan provocante. Come on, man. Felina go crazy. Come on, man. Felina go insane. Come on. Yo, um, nah, nah, nah. Felina go crazy. Uh, that makes me feel like I did, like I really have to go in the crates. Oh <laughs> man. Um, uh, Felina is insane, nigga. Yeah. Shit, what's his song? Uh, That's a good ass song. Um, oh, no, no, the, the one that I got right now yeah. is a good one. Uh, I like shit. scratching into that shit. Uh, Tú quieres bailar, tú quieres sudar y pegarte a mí, mi cuerpo no sabe. ¿Cómo? Eso no quiere decir que para la cama hoy. Yo, uh, we went crazy, crazy on that one. Um, all right. We said, nah, nigga, I am the... What were they thinking when they were... I have no clue what they were right? thinking. Right? They, 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 they were thinking party. Like but right now, but right now the, the reggaetons are not party. It's more like... Sentimiento, get how like your heartstrings, or if not, they just left field, like I want to fuck the shit out you type shit, mm. or the niggas is just straight gangsters. That's it. So you're saying Back no one's day, talking about no, being in the party no, scene? No, no, no. Like, there, was, there, was, there was an in between, remember, because that was a stage that was a stage in reggaeton, but reggaeton still wasn't accepted by the community. You yeah, see what I'm getting so at? It was so more the, of a like, there was a different the flavor onto kid, the lyrics we're the, that they were the putting. We're the poor people, in. right? We're the poor people, and we want to have fun. Ooh, my fifth. And that's why all the other beats are like, dum, 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 and you're like, yo, what the fuck? Ooh. Right. Like reggaeton now, you're like, oh shit, that shit hard. But like, not like. It's not like you can sing along, I feel like yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's just sing along more or less you can dance. Like, yeah, yeah you yeah. can dance. That's obviously a beat. But damn, I don't, I damn like, I don't know the name of this one. Right. Shit. You know, a lyric? I'm trying to think about or it. Or two. Who sings it? Tumba Melgi, you salga. Que estás en falda y se te ve toda la mente. Mi combo te ligó. Boom, del del perreo intenso. Perreo intenso. Perreo intenso. Perreo intenso. Yeah, probably. No, nah. This is the same song. No, that's no. That's the one that people usually mix into it. Hey. Oh, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I thought it was the same. No, it's the same song. Yeah, that's the same song. Oh, it is the same song. I thought it was the same song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, that's crazy. They sound like. Yeah, that's gonna be. Joel Randy. Joel Randy. Yeah, then that's. Joel Randy's crazy. Damn, damn, I fucked up. Joel Randy's crazy. That's my nigga. De la Jeezy. De la Ghetto? Yeah, that nigga's crazy. That nigga's insane. He's still making music. Niggas don't respect my man, but my man is crazy. He nice. He nice. Yeah. What? Oh my God! Okay. You know it's a good more, one. more, so we can keep going. We need, we need to go uh, to let's, go, let's go, let's go to thousand. You, you didn't do the last one. Oh, I, I didn't I'm do the last one. one I'm missing one. I'm trying to get one wrong just so I can take a shot. So. All right, cool. <laughs> so my my nah, last just, yeah, right. my yeah, last more fun. one is going to be. Damn, this nigga you know what's funny about this song? I'm I'm, you know, y'all might look at me crazy for this one. But You're I just already looking you crazy already. But no, but what I think is what this song what this song did is crazy. What this song represents. Te boté. Te boté is crazy. Te boté you know is crazy. Te boté is like again is like Te, a Meek Mill song. Like you can play that. No, no, yeah. le, le dien no, candida. durísimo la que man. Durísimo. Pero te boté is crazy. That's your heart. Te you can play that crazy. anywhere, any part of the world, and you have everybody rocking. You know, you know, you know, you know the you know the crazy about the crazy part about Te Bote? Yeah. It's the way Osuna starts this shit. Yeah, literally. Like that shit. <laughs> My ex just walked in the building. The By time. the way, let me just put it out there. Every single person who says that line stole it from me. Yeah, que no le guste que That's right. Bro? That's right. No, that's 100%. a fact. That's he, a he fact, went, bro. He makes uh, it look uh, like TikTok went viral. Like oh, some crazy yeah. shit. Somebody recorded Yo, listen him to me. I, that I've, shit. Listen to me. I've and that TikTok went viral. I've said this for so many for such a long time. Years since, since that the song, song came out. The song came out, and literally, I must say, literally within like two months, two I came months, up yeah. with the line, right? Mm -hmm. And I saw like other people doing them, like which is which I don't have, I don't have a problem with it, right? Yo, but I've posted it, and it, the video has never hit. Yo, some nigga recorded me in a party doing it and posted. it. That and his video crazy. had like three million views. God. I posted the same video, got like twenty views. <laughs> like what the fuck, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally what. Yeah, that's. You know what's crazy? That like he was telling me that Instagram doesn't know to the win. They do things that <laughs> stop your shit oh, from yeah. moving up. I learned. I learned yeah, that. No, you gotta. You, let's say you po You drop a post right now, right, mm -hmm. on Instagram. You put it on your story. Instagram knows you're trying Blame to share Facebook. your story, so they put you on the bottom. 
so no one sees you. So what you do is you screenshot your post and put it on your story and say new post. So Instagram can't see that you're sharing your post and people can still know that you dropped a new post. Everything. Interesting. I would actually, I would, I would like to debate that. I would like so? to debate that. Yeah, I would like to sit down okay. with somebody from Instagram. Okay. Uh -huh. Mi gente, mi gente. De la forma que nuestro podcast funciona, si ustedes pierden aquí, se acabó el podcast. Se acabó el podcast. No jodas. Esa es la última vida. You got lives. This is lives. You already killed two of your hearts. Okay. Well, you started at the 80s and 90s. That's how, That's it, how starts. it goes. It goes from the oldest to the youngest. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's right. do it. Did we got the before yeah, we yeah, do yeah, that, the before we get do it. that, before we do that, because we want to hear, stop. we want to hear where the inspiration for this new song that you guys got out came from. Please explain to me where the inspiration for that new song came from, just in case you niggas die right now. We probably if you will. Die is done. <laughs> <laughs> so explain to me. We spoke about a whole bunch of shit, but you never told us where that song came from. All right, quickly tell them. Not what quickly. Happened. You well, can elaborate. Yeah, you can elaborate. Take so, your time. Um, thing. I started. Last year, around like the middle of summer or the end of summertime, mm. yeah, um, I had gotten robbed outside outside my house. Not oh. not me, but I was inside my house. Mm. But someone came in and smashed my car. If you're watching this, thank you, for real. Smash my car, robbed some shit in there. You feel me? Mm. It bothered me because uh, I had just moved to that location. Mm. So I'm like. This could have not have been some random person. It had to be someone I know. You know what I mean? Some envious mm -hmm. person. But I'm grateful for that because look where I'm at now. I was upset. You feel me? My boy, he yeah, hit me up. He was there for me. You feel me? Uh, I was mad as hell. But I'm like, you know what, bro? Like, let's use this emotion that I have right now and just turn it into something. Because right now I want to, I want to yell. I want to hit someone. I want to. Let's make music. Mm. Let's go to the studio. Six in the morning. No, it's what time is it? It's, it's like morning. four in the morning, but we're smoking and stuff. So we're smoking, like, we're chilling. He's like, yo, you down? I'm like, yo, let's make a Jersey Club right now. He's like, word? I gotta put your vocals in. I'm gonna have a mic. Boom. We get everything together, go to the studio. He was there for like seven hours straight. Mm. Like, straight. Locked in. Fuck, bro. I remember that shit. And I was so mad, bro. I was so hurt. Because I was like trying to... Imagine someone robbed you and you just moved somewhere. You feel violated. Because you're, you're trying to, to you're decipher trying to start. who the fuck took my shit. Not only took my shit. Who the fuck would do some shit like that? I'm a nice guy. I, wouldn't, I don't do people dirty. I'm not you know, a thief, scammer. I'm not about that life. So the fact that something like that happened to me bothered me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But it taught me a lot. How to keep my guard up. How to, how to control my emotions. How to not put shit on Instagram that I don't need to put out. You feel me? When I was mad, I went on my ground. Who the fuck? No one needs to know I got robbed and I'm down bad. No one needs to know that shit. You're mm. giving even the people that like to talk down on you more reasons more to, yeah. to enjoy your downfall. Fuck that. But I did that, you know? But I learned a lot about it. Got to the studio. We made a song about, about just going to go get it. I wanted to make the song about bouncing back from... From a position that you've been, that wasn't the best position you've been in. Before. And you're not you know me, you know, like, so yeah, bouncing back, go get it. The song's called "Go Get It." It's just about go grinding, getting, getting back, it, getting grinding back that into. shit. It's gonna happen regardless. Mm. You're gonna get done dirty at one point in your life, but are you gonna stop? Are you gonna keep going? Are you gonna keep Don't going? Don't stop. Don't stop. Why yeah. are you gonna go get it? Okay. Big facts. You gotta. You not now that you explain that. Yeah. Go get it. It's the title of the song, the motivation of the song. You better go get this answer because if not, <laughs> you are dead, my friend. <laughs> go get it. Let's stop. All right, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Mm. Trivia from the 2000s. Malady. I mama I think, I think, ooh, oh no, this is a tough one. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Sorry guys. <laughs> this is this, well. What, I'm if, a, what if what if you shuffle? And no, there's no more shuffling. One. There's I'm no more shuffling. No, no, listen, there's a chance here. There's, there's a, a chance here. There's a chance here. Right? You there's you. But chance. I think that there, one of the options might you know fuck us. Yeah. What disease mm. was declared a national emergency in 
2009. Yeah. What does that have to do with music? It's no, a trivia. Yeah, this, this, two this, cool music questions. <laughs> and now we're talking about disease? This is what this is the fuck? I was ready for like John Lennon or something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to ask man. what right. year did Britney Spears, Spears cut your hair? hair? Actually, actually, that question is somewhere in the two. <laughs> <laughs> right, Do we right. only speak music in this podcast? Right. We talk Absolutely about everything. Not. We talk about everything. All right. Let me know because I have a good, a pretty good chance that the monkey... Not the monkey pox, but... What was that? What was that? Listen to the, listen to the Hold option. Hold on. What was that one disease that came out? What Bro, listen to the fucking option. The one that you think is the one that's going to fuck you I, up. I know. Um, what disease was declared a national emergency in 2009? Mm. A, Ebola. C, that's the one. B, swine flu. Mm. C, measles. D, bird flu. Damn. Shut up, shut up. Damn. Shut up. All of them are the ones that came out around that same say, time. Say it again. Say it again. 2009. What mm. disease I, I, was declared a national emergency national in 2009? Emergency. A, Ebola. B, swine flu. C, measles. D, bird flu. No. 2012 was Ebola. With the, with the shit. And then swine flu. Swine flu. Swine flu. Is B, swine flu, your last answer? Back me up, bro. I think that mm. is the answer. <laughs> Yo, is B swine flu your last answer? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is B Are you swine shaky? flu your final answer? Are you feeling shaky? Are you feeling sturdy? I'm trying to locate myself in 2009. <laughs> I'm gonna go with you, bro. I, I, honestly, I'm What's fried. It? <laughs> it's either that or bird flu. But, all right, so yeah, pick one. Bird flu. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know any. I don't remember anything, in like is there until a like 2020. Can I go on my phone check? No, sir. No, what? What the fuck is that? All right. So let's rock paper scissors. I'm bird flu. You're me. Uh, swine. swine. Flu? You're swine flu. Right. Ready? Don't make a. You don't use a niño. Bird flu. Nah, bro. That was weak. Do it again, nigga. Best out of three. Best out of three. Nah, nah. Start at the same time. Ready? One, two. Are you even trying to yes, win? Yes, bro. Come on. Let's right. go. That's it, bro. Bird flu. Bird flu. Bird flu. Yeah. Is D, bird flu, your final answer? They lost. They lost. Bird flu. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Lost. Yeah. yeah that's the, your bird flu is the answer. Don't mama huevo because the right answer was swine flu. <laughs> Yo, yo, I'm looking at time, I'm looking at though, and I'm like, oh, they're gonna they go fuck this up. The, <laughs> the only, only time, time they go back in the answer is the correct. Answer. I was going with him the whole time, and then yo, that was he like, died himself. He died yeah, himself yep. in that See? moment, and See? he's That's said, hilarious. And this is a perfect system. example. When I heard, when I heard oh, let's trust rock your gut. paper scissors, I was like, oh yeah, they lost. <laughs> trust old. your gut always. Fuck, go get it. Trust your gut. Trust your instinct. These are the second people that. That font that die in three cards. Yeah, you're you're the, the second group that dies in three cards. Damn, bro. How long has the session been already? Right? How long? Has the oh, session I don't even know. Well, we got like an hour. To, uh, yeah, we definitely like an hour. We like an hour and change here for sure. It's yeah, been great. But now, vamos no, vamos terminar esta vaina de la manera correcta. Tú me entiendes? Let's do it. Let's do it. Un chasito ahí bacanitz. Let's do it, man. Bacanitz. Um, so yeah, where, where can we find you guys on Instagram, social media, whatnot? What you know? What's your names? Yeah, um, yeah. I just rebranded my new um, Instagram name is. 11 official so 11 is how you will spell it if you were a spanish person so 11 with a i e i l e v n oh 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 11 um and um 11 11 official official is how you will spell it in english um double f you ready success 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 yo go get it bro go get it don't stop. Flavor, where can we find you? Oh, uh, you can find me at Pornhub. <laughs> um, <laughs> OnlyFans. <laughs> now nah, you can find me on um Instagram, Mr. Flavor Eth. Um that's right, I'm in the metaverse. Let's get it. Oh, you in the metaverse? before we leave, let's talk to us about this metaverse thing. Um, the metaverse is the future, bro. You gotta get your NFTs and stuff like that. Right now, it's a little low. Everything is falling. But 
Tú sabes, tú necesitas. Va a crecer algún día. Yeah, algún día. Va are a you, are you, are you, are you purchasing or are you creating? Um, I'm gonna eventually create. I have a couple of ideas. I wanna, you know, um, come to fruition and stuff like that. But right now, everything's just an idea. I'm still observing and still analyzing the markets and everything. But um. NFTs, non fungible tokens are, I think, are the future. I think are definitely th- going to be like. To be honest, I think if you could do like mini game NFTs, yeah, would be like the best uh, because it's this, an experience. This, this is like what I'm gonna you, say you about would beat the game and then sell it so somebody else could beat it. You know what I'm saying? And like that, the game will keep going. This is this is what I'm gonna say about the NFT world, right? I don't think NFT as we know it today is what's gonna survive. No, no, it's, it's nah. things like, like right. Like, I yeah. think that experiences no i think that exactly i think what nft is going to bring is the exclusivity to certain experiences that every else everybody else is going to want but because you are not part of this nft mm. world you mm-hmm. cannot participate in yeah so it's, it's like, like a, a ticket e- example a casi como un ticket example so you don't think all nft the 11 i can't hear 11's music yeah right. or i can't go to an 11 concert oh, you see oh, where i'm getting at or, like or, or maybe or i maybe, can't go into 11's like little metaverse thingy majinga like his room yeah. or like yeah. like 11's yeah, yeah. head maybe exactly like, you see what i'm getting at where yeah. it's like where, virtual... where it's not where it's not necessarily like a i don't want to say like a monetary value because there is a monetary value associated to it but there's just going to be something that's like exclusive to yeah, it yeah yeah so you know like, what i mean your own world. It, it's it's it's, t- it's similar to subscribing right. to Netflix. It's uh, similar to yeah. how you can't, yeah. see, you can't see Netflix originals if you have HBO Max. I'm yeah. sorry. So it's similar to like see how um, there's clubs, like golf clubs, like for you know rich people. Exactly. Like, like you need to have a membership to go in. Yeah. So then they'll like have exactly, so, exactly. It'll be like a membership. So yeah. like for instance, like um, like you said, you know, like let's say an artist. Obviously, an artist wants to be heard by millions of people. But let's say he drops a deluxe album only for people who hold his NFTs, then. That could be an uh, option, you know what I mean? Like a, a whole token towards towards that for the people who have basically invested towards him because that's what you're doing. You're exactly. into an idea. That's all it is. Yeah. It's just you saying, it's just you putting out a pot with a note that says, this is what I want to do, and with, and and basically seeing if people want to be down for you, it. You, you, I think where NFTs went wrong, at least in this, in this phase that they're in, is that everybody was going in for the money. Yeah, they got greedy. Everybody they, got they there were, was a greed. They, yeah, I they, don't know if you guys see the greed scale, yeah. but that shit was high as hell. They, they, shit, I was about to start creating. I'll tell they, you that much. They didn't go. But they, it's like they, imagine if we did, we would have been. <laughs> they didn't go. They didn't go. They didn't go in with the. Uh, let me give them an experience. Like I can't build a game. Yeah. I can't build the video game. But if you got a team that could build this video game and it's an NFT video, it's like 10 of these games. It's 10 different levels. You got the easy level and then you got the hardest shit. For you to get from this game to this game, you got to buy this NFT, which gives you the code to get into this game. That's tough, actually. See what I'm That's saying? Not so, a bad idea so that game is an NFT in itself. Yeah. If you want to play and you buy your own level, like this level is mine now. So if you want to play in my level, you got to buy my NFTs to get into my level. See how... how the uh, because you've already been playing, so you already have a, a track. I have record. 10 levels. I'm, I'm putting an example. 10 it's levels. So 10, 10, levels. 10 levels of a video There's game, right? different ways Simple you could games. do it. Yeah. It's a, it's, it could be the simplest game, right? Just to start, because obviously you got to build the, the technology. Simple game, 10 levels. If you want to play the game and you don't want to buy the actual NFT of this level of the game, you could buy an NFT of a character, which the characters I created because I created the game. I create the characters. You buy the NFT, you get access to play that game. Now, if I sell this NFT, this level, you can't have access to it because I don't own it no more. Mm -hmm. Somebody else does. Well, but Mm. what if you create a world, right? And the world is free. You can enter the world. That would be Minecraft. Yeah. yeah. And and (coughs) they do that now. Like the metaverse, they doing a lot of that. They have the worlds NFTs. that people go into. And it's the NFTs that you buy. You need water, you, nigga. I'm good. That lets you get in there. That lets you get in there. So so it's like, you still get the access to be like, yo, I kind of want that. You feel me? So you get to see it, but you don't get to play it. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. I see what you're saying. But like, and, like it's, so, it's so much shit that you could so do. I had an create. idea. I had an idea, like, I don't know. I told this one promoter one time, like, I always thought about, like, I always wanted, because the point of the NFTs and, and these tokens is to, like, IRL, you know, in real life, right? Mm-hmm. Like, for instance, like, you know, Negro's Party, he has his own, he, he has his own brand and everything. Yeah, Let's yeah. say he made it, like, an ID or something like that. And he made a proposal to the public in saying, 
this is what I want my, for instance, this is what I want my company, this is the goals that my company has. I'm asking for this much so you guys can invest in it. In, in return, you guys receive this NFT. And whenever the goals are met for this NFT, um, we're going to have this amount of money in there so that we can go ahead and go with the ideas that I have, right? So let's say, for instance, one of those are in a year from now, once the goals are met, you guys can come to my section. I have a whole, if you have my NFT, you can come to the section, bottles and hookah already set, and there's one refill. After that, you guys have to handle your own stuff. But the first round is on. On the house. On the house, because you have the NFT already. I mean, that, I th- I listen to me. That's, I think that's, how, that's, that's how I always thought about, how I, like well, even as a DJ, if I could you, do but that. But you see how, how NFTs could be bigger than what they made it seem, that right. first phase. Right. That yeah. first phase was like, oh, yeah, I own this picture. I don't give a fuck about that picture. I can screen that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah the but, then, but the thing is, back to them. But then, then now you're going now you're going to the blockchain, where it's like, you know. You don't I mean? want to deal with that shit. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? It's like, because the thing is, like, let's say, example, the hookah, right? I own the hookah. You can take all the pictures you want from it. Yeah, fuck it. That's my hookah. You could have that. You could post that hookah and be like, yo, I like this hookah. This is my hookah. But technically, that hookah's with me. You sure I'm getting it? I know what you're so saying. So people, so that's, and that's the thing where it comes to it. It's like the ownership of things, yeah, right? Yeah, but the thing is like. But what I think the, the, the what brings the kind of like the add on mm. is like, what, what's so big about me owning it, right? What? Oh, it's the fact that, you know what? Because I own this hookah, now Adalia sends me a monthly package of refills, yeah. sends me the monthly calls. Sends me the monthly, but like... that's what I'm saying. Like You see what I'm trying to get at? When, yeah. In that first phase, it was just like, I own this picture. Yeah. It, cool, did, nigga. Didn't they sell, like, so an invisible what NFT? What about it? Yeah, that's I don't true. give a fuck that you own this picture that costs a thousand dollars. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, but that's because... But the, 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 no, but what I'm, yeah. what I'm saying is, like, nigga, you're not... Just because you own this... Like, there's people that are going to be like, nah, that shit, that shit sounds like a scam. No, but the things you have to understand, there's community management. That comes along with these things. No, you're at the end, but you're not. You're not getting what I'm saying. No, I am phase, getting what you're saying. But, you but what I'm telling you is that the reason you don't give a fuck is because you're not part of the community. Yeah, That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm on Discord, so like no, for instance, what are you, what are you trying I'm to on say? Discord too. Like, example, it. example, right? I'm, I'm gonna give you the perfect example. Anime. Mm. You're a huge anime person, yeah. right? Yeah. Some people see anime, and be like, I don't give a fuck about this shit. In your head, you're like, you're bugging the fuck out. 100%. This anime is probably like the best storyline, blah, 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 blah. But, mm-hmm. but, here, but well, one, let me finish. But it's because you are part of the community. But yeah. uh, Gucci, man, Gucci, man. I never said that, like, I didn't give a fuck about the community itself. No, I know you're not saying that. What I'm saying is, like, the way it's structured right now, yeah. I don't give a fuck about that shit. It's the way, like, let's say I have an NFT and I'm like, look, I have an NFT. He's like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. But but because yeah, okay. it's not doing anything for nobody. It's not, right. it's not giving me motion. What it's about it? Like, like, it's for, the way they're being presented. They're, they're trying to like, for instance, like I have an NFT. It's called DJ Tools. Like motherfuckers are trying to open up like a like a, a spot in LA where you could pull up and you could chill and shit for free if you have an NFT. Like that's sort of cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I guess like that's you know a but little it's, safe house you could. It's go community. To in LA it's community. And, yeah, and it's and yeah, but whatever, that's hard but, though. Like I got this NFT. Whatever I probably bought early. This shit gets popping. Now my NFT is more expensive because to enter this place is super expensive. Mm-hmm. So if I sell you my NFT, right, this picture or whatever the fuck it is, right, you pay probably a whole bunch of money. But if you go to this place a lot, you you already got your money back. Tight shit. I see what you're see saying. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I get what you're saying, but like, like the the, with the it's like what, we were what saying. you're spending on it versus what you're saving is like you're spending like. The return, the return, on it. No yeah. the return on it, damn, the return on it, the ROI, the ROI. Why are you thinking that far half of like, goddamn? I'm just saying, like, like <laughs> it's the same shit we were talking about when Juti and them are here. An NFT that gives you access to your video that is only in your fucking NFT world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go into the video. This video is you in the car. 
you in the car and there's a 360 video and then when I put my shit on, boom, I put my NFT code, bop, 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 boom, I'm in the video, done. And I go like this, who who driving the car? This motherfucker. Right. Next to me. But he at this house sleeping. But in my experience, I see this nigga right here. I'm like, oh, wait a second. I'm driving I'm with... I'm in this bitch like, oh, yeah, nigga, yo, you haven't seen that video? Nah, nigga. Yeah, because you got that NFT, bitch. Yo, that shit's crazy. Word. Okay, I see, I see, I see. See what I'm saying? Word. That shit crazy. And then after the video, bro, like the, the movie, like the video ended, bro, and that nigga said, yo, let's go to my fucking photo shoot. I was like, photo shoot? Uh, but I think that might fall under Web3, though. I don't know what the fuck. So you're saying like... Like, uh, like how an, an NFT would follow would follow through like a. Like I think it's, what what he's saying is that how an NFT. I think he's connecting an NFT to a Web three. You sure I'm getting it? I think like a fan base kind of thing. No, no. no I so thought, I thought that was Web three, nigga. No, the, the, the whole yeah. metaverse shit. Is metaverse is Web three. Web3. NFT, NFT no, eh, lo mismo. It's NFT. Part of it, NFT is no, no, no. You could that, no. It is, well, that's it's what I'm, it's, it's, it, you see what I'm getting at. It does coincide. But with it's part of it. He's coin. But, but remember, but, it's but, not me. It's them. No. But oye, lo que te estoy diciendo. Oye, lo que te estoy diciendo. The NFT. What you're saying is that you want an NFT that gives you access to a Web three world. But Not all NFT have that. No, I know, but the reason that the reason why they said the NFT was gonna be so big is because it was gonna put all the NFTs like if he owns a picture, right? That my head Th- basically. This picture, this picture, boom. No, this picture, like you know the monkey shits. Yeah, yeah. The baby. Uh, he he has a monkey. Boom, one of them expensive ass monkeys. The, yeah, the the culture right? shit. But he has a world in Web three. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, I, I got a fucking Picasso. I'm going to put that shit on my wall. Bang. But that's his NFT in his wall. When you go to his house in the fucking Web 3 with the little majiggy thingies. The VR. Yeah. yeah you yeah. see that? Oh, shit. You got that? Yeah. I'm the only one and that has like it. Un Picasso in the crib. That's what I'm saying. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Yeah. Una vainita con tu Tony ahí en la casa. Heavy. Y tiene su valor. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I yeah. 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 We get in the VR, yeah. we get the VR gloves, and you pull up to my crib, and you see I'm, all my I'm, NFTs. I'm like, going technology like, crazy. You put the VR gloves, so you can feel the dominoes, like you have the yeah. table. You're like, oh shit, the dominoes is here. Juan. Y los tigres están uno en Japón, uno en Impacto, el otro en... And we all Wait, playing. Bah, like bah, bah. Yes. No, no, nigga. Yes. Talking shit. There's no. Know. There's there gloves. Yes. I didn't know this is real. There's I gloves. Gloves oh, with like nigga. sensitivity yes. shit. Yes. That you're yes. picking up the shit. Yes. 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 I don't like that retarded shit. Like, no. Like, there's gloves. Like let go instance, of this shit. You, you know drop how, that you, shit. You nigga talking about the Wii. Bro. No, no, no. The, no, the, the metaverse the, the shit. You be picking thing, shit up, you I'm drop it. it. I'm like, what the nah, fuck? Nah, nah. There's up? gloves that, like, it'll stop at the whatever, like. Nah. Yeah. Like, give you pressure type yeah, shit? Yeah, stop. Nah. Yeah. That's kind of like scary. A ball and that, everything. That shit be lie. hard. Bam, bam, bam. Mierda, si, fulanito. Mierda, nah, pero, hey, el fulano compró el carrito, el FT del tipo. And you're driving it. And you feel it. Yeah, you that's a thing. This, that's this a, is this car that this nigga made in three D. Is there's an NFT? NFTs like that though, right? Like there's some that that are like that, like that have that come with things like that. Nah, but that's scary because if they learn how to do that glove shit, then they could do a full body. They have. No, that. have you seen the movie? Player, player, player number one. Yeah. Yo, no, but not even player one. Um, that, I'll Black be down Mirrors, for that. the Black Mirrors, hmm? yeah, no, the episode where they have the whole <laughs> suit <laughs> that you could have sex with. <laughs> It has things in it that it will, like, oh, if you, you have sex, like you can. Fucking. These yeah. are all things that, um, there's a quote, if, there's a quote, and it has something to do with, if it could be seen in, in like, movies and stuff. It could be turned in real life. It's in real life. And one thing I want to say, too. Yeah. Let's hope uh, um, Something Austin imitates Austin. reality. Yeah. Um, that's, like, the, that's the quote. Something, fiction imitates reality or something like that. It's, like, a perfect quote, and it's literally that. Anything you see on TV, it's already done. There's AI. I don't think it's already done. I think oh, it's, uh, it's they're thinking about it. AI, music. A- AI is the fucking wave. AI. Can, you could get Kanye West to make you a song about. Yo, have you fu- have you fu- yes, 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 Have yes. you fucked around with ChatGPT? Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. No. 
Mad bitches. Uh, we are, Mad bitches. We are Damian, back. Damian. We, we have bag bitches with ChatGPT. We bitches, TV. bro. We put down their information like mother <laughs> with two kids, struggling, <laughs> blonde, <laughs> yo, like, cute, yo, motivational, motivational messages. Yo, this is the reason. Boom. This is the reason why people don't fuck with technology because you got niggas like this trying to bag he bitches said, off he, of ChatGPT. He said, he said, he yo. said, yo, mother... Con niños yo, struggling. Yo, let me know. Trolling. Let me know if you need a resume proposal and, and done. You could do everything. You put in español. <laughs> you say everything in English. Mother dealing with kids, Dominican, twenty five years old, in español. It be like princesa, comma. I'm like yo. Like listen to me. I, I use I use ChatGPT for work. So like. So that for me to make like headlines for like posts and stuff, I don't make the post. I just literally yeah. I put all the information into ChatGPT and be like, create a headline. I've been using, and I've it been creates using the headline for me. I used to wake up every morning. You, you look up Instagram quotes. You put Instagram quote about being motivated and ready to tackle today, and they'll tell you some shit. Straight I used up to wake up top, every morning. And there's, a, there's there's another one. There's another one. This is the one that me and you, I want you to be and you fuck with. There's one that literally you put in the YouTube link of the video, and then be like create like segments to post on social with media. With this one, you could do this. Definitely. Mm-hmm. ChatGPT Chat can't do that. No, no. With, I'm saying with this video, you should do that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it could create captions and it could yeah. create and it it'll create, cuts it in perfect scenes. Yeah, and it'll no cut it and, yes. and, and it'll put the title for you. Like right now, I'll grab this and be like, ChatGPT gone wrong, right? Yeah. And they'll show the clip of us talking about ChatGPT and, and how we used it. Yeah. Wow. So um, to there's like also I'm a subject. you know being that I'm I'm also a graphic designer too. Wait. So I used to wake up every morning and I used to literally you know look on Google for hours and looking for quotes because my whole thing about you know brands back to that conversation I like to motivate. I like to wake up every morning early or even in the afternoons because I'm not perfect and still drop a quote motivational quote. Mm. But ChatGPT allowed me to just put motivational quote. Give me ten of them. Original. Bow. Quick quote, put it on Twitter, screenshot, put it on my Instagram. Boom. Done. Easy. Done. No thought. Vamos a hacer ese flow, ¿no? ChatGPT duro. Yo estoy, yo estoy aquí editando videos por tres malditas horas. <laughs> hora del día. Yo, so look, also I'm a graphic designer. Um, I don't have to sit down for hours and create an illustration or hand draw anymore. I can go on this thing called Mid Journey, and I can literally type like a prompt for instance, I could put girl swimming in Aruba with a monster following her, and I put hand drawn cartoon, and it'll create a whole cartoon illustration. And give me four options of the, exactly what I said. Perfect. That's crazy. You can literally be like, you well, know. Se acabó el trabajo, mi gente. Yep. No, no trabaje más. Well, 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 here's the thing. I don't think so. No, no, no. Yes. It, that, right. it's just, that's just a new job that opened up. No. I Jobs. think. I think. Um, it's not that it's going to take our jobs away. We're going to work. People are scared of something that they don't know of when we should get familiar with it and use it and coincide with it. And be we use it. Essentially, we created it, which means it can't overthrow us because we can essentially there's limitations to the technology. So we just have to work with it, not against it. No, no, no. I'm, I, what I say, se acabó el trabajo, is not because the actual job is going to end. It's because niggas is going to get lazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm lazy as fuck. Yeah. I'm lazy as hell. No, 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 care. but you're lazy. In but, the aspect but, where I can work, you, it's more efficient. Work I'm yeah, working yeah. faster. You're working less smart, hours. Not hard. Niggas working are just going to be like, yo, I know how to do this. I'll see this Never much. done one in their life, so they don't understand uh, what the nah. fuck they know. See, look, like, I'm I'm I could go I back to a picture and I could edit it if I need to. I wrote someone's electrician um prompt for a for a company of Chad GBT and I don't know shit about electricity. He sent me his information. I put it there, write me an electrician prompt and it wrote me some shit and he sent it and he got the job. And he even paid me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you gotta just chan 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 Yes okay la yes and yes I yeah, no yeah, no yeah, nada de eso Y yeah, no me da Diga, nada. No, eso. no te mando ese no chequecito. Ah, yeah. Diga, ah, yo no me Diga, mando ese chequecito. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, no, mi gente, hasta dos. aquí llegó el podcast. Los tigres se murieron hace rato y nos fuimos en un rant al final. Está bien. Vamos aquí al, al 11 con Y. <laughs> y. Con, y. con I, con I. I, 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 I latina. I latina. Con I latina al principio. I le ven, ¿ok? I le ven. Official. Tenemos a Mr. Flavor. ¿Cómo es el, el, el final? ¿Qué es lo que tiene? La is. That is el tipo de en el Mitty Birth. ¿Entiendes? <laughs> Yo soy Chris Bean Films. Yo soy Jorge Alain. Y esto es Oscuro. ¡Te veo! ¡Aplausos!
sir.